Hey, Brad. What's up? How's it going? What? Why were you on my channel like 30 seconds ago? I, I gotta get back on making videos and shit. But I've been... I've been so... Fucking bored. Oh my god. Uh, okay, first matter of business. New paintings? God damn it. Second, more important. No. No! What? This... I'm so, I'm so mad. Okay, give me give me a second. I this new version is supposed to take features out of experimental. I'm supposed to have I'm supposed to have these features. Um, am I, am I, am I wrong? Am I insane? Is, was it for bedrock? Was it for, was it for bedrock? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I have no idea. I'm a little bit mad. I'm a, hi, J Bear. What's going on, buddy? I'm a little. I'm a little bit salty. I. 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 I was told. I was told features were being brought out of experimental mode. This is apparently false, but it's okay. It's all good. It's all we're we're good. We're fine. We're centered. We're grounded. It's fucking okay. Hey, it's okay. Um <laughs> The only feature besides the new paintings that I'm absolutely desperate for is the copper grate. Just so I could put it here. These have been a placeholder block for months now. But they need to be copper grades. Brit is in the Discord. So here's the situation. Here's where we're going. Layer two is finished. Layer three begins tonight. Look at how small compared to layer two. We're, so for layer three, we're losing this chunk of space. It's all good. It's pretty pretty easy. Not nothing huge. It, it's just a good it's just a good chunk that we don't have to place. And then over here. On this side, we're dropping all this space from the last layer, all of this. So we're just doing, we're just doing that. Then on this side, not, not as exciting. Just a, just a few blocks less. However, the, exci the exciting part is here, and this is where our biggest time save is gonna be. This is where layer two continues, or layer, layer three continues. Layer two, last time, was all of this, and that's, what, that's all part of the reason it took so long. So look at all this. Yeah, every layer gets like significantly smaller. Um, 
So yeah, I think this layer can be done by the end of next week. I feel like that's doable. Um, I feel like this big section of dirt right here, um, we can get done tonight if we're quick with it. Just the dirt. I don't think we can get the uh, the stone done tonight. Hmm. It's gotta be a way to do this a little bit better. Ah, whatever. Who cares? Anyway, chat. What's going on? What's going on, gamers? Also, I repositioned my microphone. Oh yeah, that was forever ago. Um, Brad, what's the confession? Look at this. Look, we're, look, we're almost done already. No, I'm just, I'm just fooling. But for real though, we're like almost actually gonna be, like this is quick. These ones are gonna take a while. And then it's just those. I, I think, I, I genuinely think we could do this. What? Br bread? What do you mean? <laughs> did, did you want did you were you watching it? Thank you, Tay Bear. I'm not I'm not insane. Look at this, we just have to do like a hundred more of these. Right? How many is this? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine. We do a hundred more little spots like that. That that'll that'll definitely get us over there. We got this. Brad, what what part of the movie don't you understand? Is it like you just like forget it because it's like a forgettable film, or you just don't get it? Um. Anyway, so hopefully this new mic position is good. Um, it should pick up less of the sounds on my desk, like me clicking and fiddling with things. But I know that you definitely heard that because that was really loud. Anyway, um, it should be just be like a little bit better. I hope. Awesome. Very good. So essentially for a while I had, um, I had my mic hanging upside down just for convenience, but now I have it right side up, uh, basically just balanced on top of my monitor here. I have, I have it attached to a boom, but it's a little bit wobbly. So I have it like leaning on top of my monitor and it works. I feel like it's a, it's a good distance. It's a good distance for my face. I have access to this thing, which is either going to make me really loud or much quieter. Hopefully much quiet. No, it's making me a lot louder. Okay, we're gonna go back the other way and make it quieter again. <laughs> I sincerely apologize. Okay, there we go. We're now within the cool guy range of volume. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm <laughs> I look in my defense on that knob. It doesn't tell me which way is up or down. It just it just says gain, and there's no way to tell because it's also on the back of the microphone. 
so if you're if you're like reaching around it and you're twisting it one way, it feels like you're like, oh, am I turning this up? Am I turning this down? You know. But even if I'm looking at it, you know, I would assume. Cause no, even if you're looking at it, you turn left, left for for up, which is quite silly in my opinion. Um, so Otter will be joining. Us. Wait a minute. Otter will be joining us at some point tonight. Um. Seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. That okay? Look, uh, kind of, kind of makes sense. I'll give you that. However, just, just point it in the direction. Like, just just have a little little arrow or maybe a plus or a minus on either side of the knob, so you could turn it towards the the one. Anyway, we should be back to our older, slightly better sound quality. More colors. Colors work too. That reminds me. Yes, yeah, JB. Um, yeah, I would I would cut it off, Brad. Have I ever played Sonic Color JB, I have not played a single Sonic game. At some point I plan to. Haven't done it. Unfortunately. Um That's a lie. I've played the first two Sonic games ever, but they don't count. Um because I I don't know I I can I consider them like nothing games like you just kind of fucking go quick and get mad <laughs> like that's <laughs> that's the extent of it for me perhaps I'm a hater or maybe I don't get it <sighs> but you know. Hmm. Oh, hell yeah. I love the Wii. What a good console. There's so many games that need, like, not even a remaster, just like a re-release. I think that's the only thing that, um, like, Nintendo's really good at, is they have all of their retro shit available, like, virtually. Not all of, but, like, a good amount of it. There's so many games that are just inaccessible now. Like, a any of the Silent Hill franchise, you just, you have to emulate it. There's no fucking way. All the old, like, hardware copies, um, are a billion dollars, and there's, <laughs> there's nowhere to play it fucking anywhere. Like, maybe, like, this, this terrible Steam port of Homecoming. Um... I think uh, Downpour might be still on the Xbox store, but that, that's it, dude. They were pretty popular, but, uh, you know, Kodami didn't want to make them available. <laughs> um, same with a lot of the like Resident Evil games. Uh, thankfully, they have remasters of 0 and 1, but it's impossible to play tons, like, tons of different ones. You can't play Umbrella Chronicles, um... You can't play Dark Side Chronicles. Uh, you can't play fucking Code Veronica X. Um, yeah, I, I agree, J Bear. And there's there's so many games like that that are just 
hard to you gotta, you gotta you gotta emulate them. You have to. You have no other choice. But that's just the way that it is. Oh, we're getting to the we're getting to the big part of this. Oh no. But yes, I would... Uh, the thing is, it, it's ridiculous with a lot of these games. Um, because you're, you're fucking... You're printing money. <laughs> you are making these games available for digital download in like, like a PC port. Um, is relatively minimal work. And you're just, you'd just be printing money. Everybody's already emulating them. <laughs> and <laughs> pretty much everybody would buy, buy a copy if you like fixed a few bugs. Um... Maybe do a little graphic update of some sort. But also, I don't know. I feel like a lot of game developers are lazy now, and they'll do what they did with the, like, Grand Theft Auto re-release, which is insane, if you're unaware. Um, I think they remastered, like, the first three GTA games, and they basically just, like, AI upscaled them, and it was, it was fucking atrocious. Ah, oh, hi, Rudra Pratap. My day is going pretty good. How are you today, buddy? Uh, Jay Barris, it's actually insane. Um, the whole joke Otter and I talk about a lot is, like, these people hate money. Um, specifically, like... There are companies with ravenous fan bases that are very, very vocal about what they want. And then for some reason, the company just won't do it. And if they did do it, they would just make a, make a bajillion dollars. <laughs> it's like, I don't, I do not understand. Um, like Lego is like that, unfortunately. Um, I'm not one of like the ravenous fans who's like, we need to, we need this very specific thing. We need this, make this now. Um, but all you have to do is, like, go on YouTube and see what people are like, oh, I would love for this to be a, a Lego set. And a, a trillion people are agreeing, and it's like everybody agrees. And they just don't do it because they're stupid. They're stupid. They're literally, like... <laughs> oh, no. That sucks, Rudra. I hope you feel better, buddy. Um... Because a lot of big companies listen to, like, marketing consultants. Specifically, in Lego's case, they're really big on... Um, one, only making things that have previously sold well in the past. And two, only making things that are currently in popular media right now. So it's very challenging to convince them to make weird shit however um they're, they're kind of getting good at it i think they're i think they're getting the picture that shit is changing and you could very directly listen to your consumers because it's not like i don't know it's not like video games where you there you could have like a bad idea um, obviously there's, like, like good ideas with poor execution, but with something like, like, Lego, dude, just, like, <laughs> all I gotta do is make the guys that people want, and they'll buy, like, hundreds of them. Even recently, I was just talking about this on the Discord, they revealed the, um, the Star Wars, uh, May 4th gift with purchase, and it's, <laughs> it's seriously, like, the perfect set, it's one of the best sets in years. Um, but it's limited to a gift with purchase, so they're not going to be making as much money as they, they could have. Um, all they had to do was release it as, like, a normal $30 set, and I guarantee it would have sold, like, like, millions of copies. Um, I know my, I myself would have bought, like, three of them, um, if I could, but now I buy one, and I also get it for free, <laughs> which is ridiculous. Hi, a guy on fire, what's poppin'? 
We are on the third layer, placing the dirt. Doing it quickly, too. I'm quick with it today. We're going, like, no distraction mode. This is peak efficiency. It's, it's like, it's actually not straight fair. Um... Because there's also, there's like an obvious formula to it. Like, oh, cool character hasn't appeared in LEGO ever or in like 10 years. Make this character. It will sell. Like, fucking. I, I, I don't, I want to meet them. I want to be like, hey, uh, LEGO marketing team. What's, what's wrong with you guys? Like, what's, <laughs> like, come on. what's the, uh, what's the executive dysfunction? Hell yeah, Jay Bear. Getting out of that school. Look at that. Look at this. We did this in like a minute. Now it's time to mark out the next 50. Which I think might be the rest of this. Thirty-four. Oh wow. Thirty-five. <laughs> Six. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Thirty-nine. Forty. Alrighty. <laughs> this is... Look at this. Ah, oh, Javier, what do you want to be doing? You strike me as the kind of guy who's going to be like an engineer of some sort. Or something insane like sports marketing. Or, or not sport, uh, sports journalism. Leviticus 1822. Hi, Hero Obsidian. What's popping? I'm just going to go to the gathering! <laughs> Wait, are you? No, you're not. No way, Jay Bear. No way. N no way. No freaking way, Jay Bear. Uh, but if you do, um, you better be ready to camp. Alternatively, I think we have an extra room, but I don't. I don't know the situation. Cause I know, I know that straw dropped out. Yeah. It's it's all all the hotels are too expensive, so you better get ready to camp at the gathering. Uh, your campsite is included in your ticket price, by the way. Everybody gets a campsite. Not everybody uses ours. <laughs> Camp. Yeah, get, get prepared. J-Bear's freaking out. It's, uh, J-Bear, it's, it's all good. Um, it's not like camping. I mean, it is in the sense that you have no electricity and you live in a tent for four days, but it's, it's high density camping. Essentially you're homeless. It's like homeless simulator where you're in like a field of like a thousand other tents and it's a terrible experience. I found this YouTube short streamer named Easy Gaming. Okay. How do I do? How do I do that? I want to be. A, I want to. I want to. Um, so I saw somebody streamed on YouTube Shorts, but also I want to make some more YouTube Shorts. <laughs> Who doesn't do the face reveal? Yeah, Jay Bear, come to the gathering. Get, get clowned, buddy. Make make bad choices. Oh, we're making crazy progress. <laughs> I 
<laughs> what? You could go to the gathering. You could go this summer. That silly guy on fire. Um, I feel like face reveals are really, really dumb. Here's why. One, 99% of the time, it does, it does not matter what you look like. <coughs> um, two, it's like a publicity thing. That's okay, Javer. You don't need parents. Like, like in general, get get rid of them. Dispose of them immediately. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just like a weird publicity thing to like tease like a, a face reveal. Um. Like, if you want to be anonymous, be anonymous. I like being anonymous because I like being a weird character. And I don't think my face matters. That's true. That's, 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 that's fair. I'm not crying. I just have a piece of mycelium in my eye. Did somebody hear some, like, gay, retarded worm crawling around here somewhere? <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, Otter Botter. That's horrible, man. Alright, welcome to the, to the show, uh, tonight. Hello, um, buddy. My name is Otard. Hello, Brett Rubin. I'm Brett Rubin, I have diabetes. Um, anyway, moving on, um, I think it's really, really stupid to tease, like, the face reveal thing, because it really is just, like, whoring, you're just like, oh my god, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, guys, you wanna know what I look like so bad, um, I'll say, who cares? Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying, I already went over that point, um, and also, there's the risk, and I noticed this, uh, with, like, three creators so far that I liked Good. before, huh? Jay Bear, that's like, I've been saying that for years. That's the whole joke. I'll be like, hello, everybody. Mark Blyer. Yeah. Hello, everybody. My name is Mark Blyer. Um, but they'll do a face reveal. Okay. And then a lot of their content just turns into their fucking face. And it's like, yeah. It, it drives, it actually drives me insane. Um, phone. Like, uh, this one, like what? This one guy who used to do like gameplay videos uh, and talk about game design. He would talk about game design, and then after he did his face reveal, instead of the screen being, you know, a good demonstration <laughs> of what he's being what? a good demonstration of like what he's talking about, instead it's just like a shot of him talking to the camera, and I can't follow what he's talking about because he doesn't have a fucking demonstration anymore. Um, it's like a giant pain. And then the other, like, Lego guy, um, instead of showing pictures of what he's talking about and all of this, he did, like, shorts content and shit. It was just his fucking face. And I'm like, show me what you are talking about. And he would be like, Lego just unveiled the craziest set of the summer. And he would just talk, like, talk to the fucking thing the whole time. Put his big ugly mug on the screen. I don't want to see that. I want to see what you are talking about. It's ridiculous to me. Um. Hello, everybody. It's me, Marcus Plyer. They call me that because of my condition. Um, I feel like if you're gonna do a face reveal, um, or if you're like one of those creators who's like famously masked, I feel like the best way to handle it is like how Mr. Creepypasta did, where he kind of used to tease it back in the day, because it was like, oh, who's behind a mask? Because it's like this whole like mysterious character thing, um. But for live events and shit, and even some streams, he's just, like, completely unmasked and doesn't draw attention to it anymore. 
and I think it's totally fine. And he's still he's still like in character for a lot of stuff. Um. But it's also not a big deal. It didn't make a giant deal about it. Didn't do like a one million subscribers. I'm gonna do it, guys. Um, I feel like that's the way to go. Uh, whatever. So to face reveal, either I, I don't know. I, I hate. I find it really cringy hyping up your face reveal. Yeah, that's, um, I, that's what I just thing, said. Yeah, I know. I'm, okay. Uh, might be crazy. I'm, I'm sharing my opinion now. Mm hmm. Um, I'm just making sure we're on the same page. Uh, 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 oh, God. But <clears throat> the last thing I want to do is hype up a bunch of people and give them expectations of what I look like and then disappointing them. Yes. Uh, uh Javer, I'm vaguely aware. Of that, um, <clears throat> but also, yeah, it's it's all just like a silly thing. Like, what do you think I look like, you freak? And why does it matter? Yeah, you just put a face to the uh, thingy. Yeah, but I mean, I would, and in a lot of cases, it's like just be your wacky character. Yeah, I um. Because on one part, like, I, I like, I want to uh, be someone that people know. Just, you know, it's like you kind of want the attention. But on the other part, I do love the idea of just a faceless thing. But on the other, other part, we're doing, like, three-dimensional parts here now, is I also hate people that have, like, a gimmicky character. Where it's like, here's me, but I'm wearing my motorcycle helmet. Or here's me, but I've got to... Kind of a gay mask that lights up. I don't know. I realize it's all personal expression, so it's like, if I don't like it, that just means, yeah, it's not my not my guy. Yeah. Um, but some of them are just really gay. Like? Like I said, where it's like, every video I'm going to wear that purge mask with the X eyes and the sewn mouth that lights up. Yeah, I feel like this and is like, like overly that's... like edgy. And also a little bit unoriginal that's my point is a lot of them are it's just kind of gay it's like i'm gonna wear like a dream type mask it's always yeah. like or like i'm gonna wear a ski mask and like sunglasses or something it's like all right mm -hmm. whatever like put like five minutes into creating your little oc instead of just i don't know yeah um that's where it's so good being a a, a furry influencer because you just wear your suit soup yeah oh i um yeah i'm not a fan of like like masked characters as much as just like here's my goofy my goofy fellow rather well, than i wear like, the mask you know, the, like when you say like, goofy fellows like you're just not even pictured it's just the guy well, no, you can be pictured. I just don't like it when the personality is, my guy wears a mask and is anonymous. Um, you know, like the purge mask guy, or yeah. the dream. Um, my teeth hurt. Brush them till they fall out. Yes, sir. Ouch. You said that right as I crashed my car. <laughs> oh, I have a Discord notification. And it was like like a harsh front end collision into like a tree. <laughs> Who's messaging you? Nobody. Come on, man. Everlasting Bobby. What? Bobby's not messaging me. You fucking asked. You, you asked. You asked, motherfucker. Bob's not on stream. It's kind of fucked up. That's alright. No, it's not alright. Oh. Everlasting yes. snob. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Finally, somebody gets it. <laughs> um. 
How was the Apple I got my, uh, shut up. How was the what? Never mind, never mind. No, please talk to me. Sorry, that was my demon side coming out. I have multiple PUD. The Applebee's. Yeah, I went to Applebee's. I have Um, I got my first little sketch from, uh, what's her face? MK. Neat. Looking pretty cool. I haven't gotten my updated one. Because she's having a really hard time drawing I know, your guy. I know. I sent her a picture of a, like a someone actually like anthropomorphized um, one of them. I'm like maybe this will help you a little bit, but I don't know what your vision is. I I gave her very detailed notes and she hasn't communicated since at all. And I'm like, <laughs> hey, ask me if you need help. I know it's very hard. Um, I sent her like thirty plus reference images. Um, and I'm like, hey, I could send a lot more, and she just hasn't talked about it since. I think the problem is, is, uh, you're asking, like, the Sonic artist to draw, like, crazy bug creature. It's not that crazy. That's a pretty hard character for, like, a, I don't want to say amateur, but, um, you know, kind of like a, like a intro artist. I guess amateur is a good term, like an amateur artist. Yeah. Uh, to kind of um... work out. Because you can see her specialty. Yeah, I just don't think my guy is, like, too far... I don't see all the... I don't know all the notes, so I, I, all I know is uh, that it's a... The character card. I want is fairly cartoony and not very detailed. Because hmm. um, I'll show you what I sent her, which I think maybe is what you would want. Do I do any anime? What does that mean, Javier? Do I watch anime? I hate anime. I I'm sorry. I have tr I have tried like probably well over like a dozen, possibly approaching two dozen uh, animes, and I don't like them. I'm a hater. Um. You see what I sent you, brother? Check it right now. Uh, not really at all. Yeah, see, that's your problem. What do you want it to be? I don't even understand them. Just not, like, a lot, it's, what I want is a lot simpler. Explain it to me. Just like a, just like a fucking a fellow, like a little cartoony guy. You want it to look like that and be cartoon- Like, you want it to look like the bug and be cartoony. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not saying, like, that general body style. I'm saying, like, just kind of, like, how to tackle the head. Oh, um... Yeah, I don't think the body- the, I'm not talking about the body. I, I, I should've- I should've- Because my thing is, like, the hardest part is adding expression and anthropomorphism to the head. Yeah, um... Which I, I don't want any. I have, ex I have like, extensive... Uh... I don't know the notes! I know! I don't know, which is why I don't know why you're asking me. Because I like to talk... Uh, God forbid I ask you about anything you're doing. Oh my god. Christ. Fuck. Guy gets mad when I engage with his, with his things, gets mad when I don't. I can't win. You see this chat? Remember those. Oh my god. No, ah, I'm like, alright. Let me, uh, Blair, what are you doing? I'm just curious. It's an interesting concept. God forbid it I find is. it interesting. Um, yeah, I want the head to be almost exactly like they are on the, the actual guys, mm -hmm. um, which is basically just an expressionless, scary-looking bug, <laughs> and the rest of it's like a silly cartoon body. So, like, take a take a little guy, um, give him some extra appendages, slap a weird, weird, <laughs> like a slightly oversized, big fucking head on it. Um, I kind of imagine it like a like smiling friends like Pim's body with one of those bug heads. Um Let me look up what Pim's body Pim's body looks it's like. He's just like a little stubby, chunky little guy. Oh, uh, okay. Um Imagine more of the like Sonic character uh proportions. What? Where he's like more of a crazy. 
more uh, defined body, but still like, you know, relatively simple. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm that I'm kind of struggling to envision it too. So. Allow me. I got chunky, crazy winners flying out my mouth. What the fuck? Who said that? Hi, Bobby. Who ups the candon handling they puck? Huh? Bob, you used to get you used to get in trouble with God for saying stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, Bob. Um The fuck is cells at work? It's a little sh little show, a little silly. Oh, I don't like that show. I thought it was cute. I tried to give it a shot, and it just, uh... It was a little too abstract for me. I realized it's like the human body and stuff, but... Yeah, I wasn't too into it, but I, I enjoyed it for what it was. Bye-bye, J-Bear! Bye, J-Bear. I watched a couple episodes, and I was like, eh. I'm not... I don't like the overly goofy animes... Um, I, some of them just feel like fucking, like, YouTube poop sometimes, where it's just, like, dumb shit happening all the time. Not, YouTube poop's a bad example, you know what I mean, where it's yeah. just, like, silly stuff. Um, I really like anime for, like, it's, it's wacky plots. You know, like, Naruto kind of set the narrative expectation for me with anime as a kid. Where it's like, hey, I like this stuff where it's, like, fucking crazy cool. Yeah. Murder is such a great series. It just has too much filler. I agree. Um, I tried to... I used to, like, keep up with it when I was, like, 15, 14. In, like, middle school, I think. That's and one then, of the things... I, I hate long shows. Yeah. Um. So anime fucking kills me in a lot of... Like, oh my god. Well, a lot of the... A lot of anime shows are short, so I don't know where you got that idea. Like, if you're talking about, like, Dragon Ball and One Piece, yeah. Yeah. But like, um, the most popular forms of that, like, you're lucky to get 20-something episodes a season that are longer than 20 minutes each. Yeah, um, there's, like I said, there's some, uh, that are fine. I just mean, like, but... all the iconic ones, like, they feel, like, criminally short sometimes. Yeah. I would, I think you should watch Chainsaw, man. It's pretty fun. I'll give it a go. I like it. I love the, uh... I really enjoy the, like, Japanese demon, um, shows. I think it's cool. It's a cool cultural thing. I like Demon I do Slayer. Agree. I think Demon Slayer's awesome. Um. And I like, uh, Chainsaw Man. I don't like Death Note. Attack on Titan's great. Um. I gotta check out Death Note. Uh, I think I gave it a little try, but... It was too much of like a drama for me, but I think I would like it. You probably would, because it's uh, it has the exact same uh, story as like Silent Hill. No, it doesn't. And Resident Evil. No. <laughs> no. Uh -uh, no. <laughs> I'm like furiously researching. Come on. Uh. Um, so Is I thought, I saw a video, um, Go ahead. claiming all the features were out of experimental mode. I just, they fucking lied and they're not <laughs> like, I fucking, uh, they're like, prank. yeah, they're like this week, uh, cause uh, 1.20.5 is coming out and that means all the 1.21 features in today's snapshot are out of experimental mode. 
Wait, and I, I I log in like super hyped, and they're they're fucking not. This doesn't make any sense to me. What? Oh, that's man. I love you can tell when a professor is sweating bullets a little bit because their G their uh, students' grades suck. Um, the professor, that's great news. The professor just emailed us, and it's like, if your final exam is greater than your lowest exam, I'll replace it with your final exam's grade. Which is fucking insane. Because if I get like a 90 on my final exam, that means like my lowest exam grade will be a 90. Oh, that's nuts. That's like actually ridiculous. <laughs> that's fucking must crazy. have like failing people in this class. That's fucking nuts, holy shit. <laughs> that sucks. Um, well, that's great news. Your mom told you? Oh, I thought I thought Bob's mom recommended the anime. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> um, what the hell is janitor AI? Janitor AI? Yeah. No, fuck. Let's look it up. <laughs> Why? S Stinky's talking about it. Oh, AI chatbots with anime styles. You can chat with emotions, work, and sexuality it. That's funny. That's fucking gross. Um, she just said, uh, getting a subscription to this Dirk Strider porn bot. Yeah, it's, it looks like it's just, uh, kind of like roleplay. God damn, AI is fucked. We're fucked. We're so fucked. Oh my god. I wonder if um like AI chatbots are kind of like a like a Bill Gates eugenic scheme to uh make people reproduce less because they'll be like in love with AI. I honestly kind of fuck with it because the stupid degenerates who are willing to like marry a chatbot or whatever or like not have a girlfriend or a boyfriend because they're talking to a chatbot. Mm -hmm. I don't want that person reproducing. Yeah. Um, like, that's actually, god, I really do wonder if there's, like, a high-level eugenic scheme. Uh, probably not. I think probably. it's just... Yeah. Uh, probably not. My whole thing is, is, what conspiracy theorists don't realize is a lot of the things that they theorize are just unfortunate results of human oversight. Yeah. The, the main motivation behind 99% of things is money or power. Yeah. Um... And controlling the population through AI porn bots is, like, it just has, like, a little side effect. Uh, exactly. Perhaps a positive side effect of... Honestly. Um, just somebody else's greed. Because I, honestly, like, because everybody's like, oh, AI is, like, sex robots and stuff. They'll ruin everything. Again, it will keep the people that aren't committed to, like, humans and children... I'm committed to a child. <laughs> like, who aren't committed to like humans and having kids and stuff. It'll keep them out of the pool, and hopefully you start to have less like stupid people damning their kids to uh, misery. Huh. So like, I almost don't have a problem with it. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. That's uh, like go for it, you weirdos. Yeah, because I'll I'll just get into business of making them. <laughs> yeah. Money is the root of evil, and I have heard. Um. <laughs> Your mom loved it because she's a nurse. Stinky liked it too. Nah, mom. Bob's mom's not a nurse. Her mom's too nice. <laughs> Nurses, you have to have BPD or some sort of like narcissism problem. Well, S Stinky's mom is also a nurse, and she's like super nice. Um, and she comes home crying sometimes because all the other nurses are mean. Stinky's mom has autism. No, it's genetic. Doesn't it's not a bad thing. Your reaction is very telling of how you treat people of my kind. Ah! Is your mom a nurse? Uh. I, I choose to disagree. So, sorry. Actually, not sorry. And, quite frankly, I want to say womp womp? 
chat. Can we get a womp womp? <laughs> How about a swamp swamp? <laughs> I'm texting. Awesome. Sorry, one second. Did you text? Oh, that's pretty awesome. I was texting Stinky about the thing. Um, the thing. The, the uh, AI that we were just talking about, that yeah. she was asking about. I don't know. Um, thing is a very broad word. And, sorry, I'm like talking to you and reading chat and you reading her me. texts. Yeah, I do. I fucking Gosh, hate you. I hate your guts. That's, that's, that's why I have you on this fucking stream every day. Um... <laughs> Gosh, never mind. Yeah, never mind. Whatever. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Um. So, I, 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 I said, um. I, mean, I said Otter and I looked it up, like, accidentally calling you Otter. <laughs> um, and she's like, why are you calling him <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm like in stream, <laughs> I'm like in stream mode. So, but... I thought it was so fucking funny. Like, um, yeah, uh, briefly going like foul boy mode at work and being like, "See you later, gamers!" <laughs> as I walk back <laughs> for my fucking break. Um, I thought it was so fucking funny. It's a pretty common, uh... Like, I've heard people say that. No, it is. It's just funny that it was, like, completely accidental, and I said it... Like, I said it like that. Like, I think like, super fucking autistically. <laughs> I just meant to be like, be right back, guys. But then I was like, alright, my food's here. And then, like, see you later, gamer. <laughs> and I was like, mom is the crowning child head king, queen. Did somebody just say childhood queen? <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> Ma'am, your baby is crowning. <sighs> Today Nursing I'm is to women what computer science is to men. I need to, um, if I ever work at a, like, a company, God for Wow, who would who would who would expect that? Um, if I ever work for like a like a like an office type thing, I gotta pick up the guitar and dress uh, kind of goth and be Haida from a Grosuko. Whatever, I don't care. Whatever. Guy's like dream that? is to be a character from the TV show. I like him. I like, I like him as well. I see. I don't. I don't like the show. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's cute. I'm kind of a sucker for um, little crushes like that, especially when they're cute animals. I like it. Hmm. I I liked like I guess the first season. I don't know. I, it's one of those things. Like I just I can't get into any of this shit. I know. It's all right. I try. I I put in a solid effort. It's not your genre, and that's okay. Yeah. I don't know what is, but I've just always been drawn to cartoons and anime. But I'm I like very, I, just, I like cartoons. Uh, yeah, like I said, I I really hate um like slice of life schoolgirl anime. I hate like anime girl anime. Mm -hmm. Waka waka. <laughs> yeah, waka, but damn, but. <laughs> Yeah, right in your fucking ear. <laughs> the fucking casino. <laughs> you're doing that like defeated shit where you're like, oh, I, I have like my like you know last twenty dollars. Let's just dump it into slots and fucking leave. And the guy, the guy's like behind you. <laughs> Oh man. Do ba do ba yap. Do ba yap. Ooh ba. Waka waka. Ay ay. Do ba do yap. 
All right, everybody, do your weirdest noises in chat. <laughs> um, Oopa. Oopa. Man, this game would be so fun to play with a steering wheel if it actually fucking worked properly. I bought this whole like steering setup, and then the steering wheel is like jerky, and it really pisses me the fuck off. He's like mean. He just says shitty stuff to me. <laughs> Get it, guys, because the joke is you thought you can be talking about the way that. No, it pisses me off because it's like a belt driven force feedback and it like skips. Um, so it's horrible. like you'll like lose force feedback and then it comes back. So it's like my wheel will like jerk around. It's like it'll like lose, it'll lose resistance and then it'll come back. So it's like moments of smoothness and then like hardness. It's like chunky. It's really fucking annoying. Sounds like a problem with the power steering. Yeah. Seems like we need more wiener fluid. Top it off. <laughs> Car needs more gender fluid in it. <laughs> <laughs> Liberals fixing their car, trying to top off on gender fluid. <laughs> yeah. It's like one of those fucking like skeleton memes. I need to put a tranny in my car and top off my gender fluid. <laughs> this is <so> stupid. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> Don't worry, it happens to everyone, <laughs> but not me. <laughs> God, this is such a funny statement. Sorry, my guy. It happened to everyone but me. <laughs> this is so fucking funny. <laughs> like, you think you're being reassured, and this guy's just kind of like a dickhead. That's so funny to me. Like, yeah, I feel you, bro. But I'm not like I'm not retarded, so that shit don't happen to me. But oh I, 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 I can get how you feel. Stinky just texted me back after conversing with the Dirk Strider porn bot. And she said, I'm so fucking scared right now. I'm literally so frightened. Why? And I said, yeah, I said, why? What's wrong? And she's just sending me pictures of Nemesis from Resident Evil. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's so fucking stupid. It's so stupid. Stinky's like the really rare occurrence of like a woman being funny. Yeah. Sorry, girls in the chat, but... Bob, Bob and Stinky are the only two women that I've ever met that are like actually fucking hilarious. So yeah. Good job, Bob. Bread, you'll get there. Uh, I don't think you've ever tried to make a joke though. Actually, I think Bread's has had her moments. Yeah. I, I recall Bread saying at least one thing that made me laugh. Bread makes me laugh with things that she says like conversationally, like with people in chat. Yeah. Which does have like a funny remark. Um, We've got a good culturing going. I don't know where we keep finding funny women. It's just it's just the stream. It's like, like our a good... Angus beef. It's our Angus yeah. beef. Because I was thinking about it the other day, like, oh man, you know, the the streaming schedule kind of stops a wider crowd from getting in. But I'm like, it's actually pretty good without a wide crowd. Yeah, every right? once in a while, I do stuff. Well, I mean, I did some stuff early the other night and had like nobody here. I think I have to like switch up how I'm doing my tags again. Um, yeah. But again, I think this I think this whole server would be like rotten if it got too busy. Yeah. But also that's why I like to add specialized chats and hopefully I wanna get people like J Bear. J Bear's pretty cool. Um maybe a bad example. People like like MK, who like hey, you have your own special chats that are like yours. I also gotta give MK a lot of credit. I feel like with her came a lot more um like liveliness with everybody. Yeah. I agree. Um, but yeah, I would love for people to have their own special chat so they can, like, you know, a little special interest chat. Um, and post all your wacky stuff in it. And everything's separate. Um, but it's like a big giant forum of all of our weird uh, coalesced interests. I think it's very fun. Bobby, you're watching Money the Pooh. Are you also fucking sucking your binky? Changing your diaper? I don't think I've ever watched Winnie the Pooh. 
I kind of have a slight aversion to uh, stuff like Winnie the Pooh. I don't know. Blood is just racist. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I gotta learn to play the squitar. <laughs> It's talking to me. Help me. I'm actually insane right now. I can't do this. Why did you let me do this? Ten crying emojis. What is, is it like voice or just text? I think just text. Um, but she one. also hates AI and robots and is terrified of them. Really? Yeah. We've, I think we've had that discussion before. I don't know to that extent. Uh -huh. Well, that's good, so I can make robots and scare the fuck out of her. Yeah. Man. It's crazy how much, like, kind of junk, shitty food upsets your stomach when you eat, like, clean for a while. Like, fucking, it's fucking, um... Now when I go to Applebee's, like, it makes my stomach hurt. Hmm. Um, and I'm not getting, like, gluten everything I order. Like, it, there could be cross-contamination, but, like, usually, like... Yeah, you know when the Christians, like, come in there? That's another show I like, um, speaking of Christians coming in places. is a uh, Christian porn. Freaking no, nice. but, uh, on Hulu, the Shogun show is actually pretty good. I've been watching that. Hmm. It's actually pretty cool. I like it because it touches on some like little niche. They have a lot of like Japanese uh, like organizers for the show, like you know leads and directors and stuff. Yeah. That keep it like very culturally accurate, which I think is awesome because I hate like Americanized samurai stuff. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Um, but it's a cool concept where it's um, this is the time period of Japan where there's not many foreigners. Um, so there's, uh, this guy's like the first Englishman and his ship kind of like washed up in Japan. Um, and it's him basically, tr cause you know, they see people like him as like barbarians and shit. And mm -hmm. it's basically him trying to, uh, like weasel his way in and basically fucking survive and like get off, you know, get shit going. Um, doing a bad explanation, but it's cool cause it shows the, um, it shows the, I think Spanish, uh, not Spanish, um, maybe it's Spanish, but it shows like the Spanish missionaries and shit who are trying to spread Christianity in, uh, Japan, and it shows some of like the political tensions and stuff with that. It's really cool. That's cool. I like that. Genuinely awesome. Like, pretty cool fucking show. Um, I would watch it. I think you should. Mm, I might give it a good, uh, one, two I episode try. also like it because all the Japanese people speak Japanese. And one of the big premises is, uh, it's the, also, you know, I one of the plot points him. is the, the interaction with the Englishman and his, like, translator. Uh, I like that. That's sweet. Yeah, it's cool. And I like it because they have a little attention to detail where it's like, she won't translate it kind of, like, perfectly. Just a little shit, but I like their attention to detail. She'll, like, simplify what he's saying, or, like, if he says something kind of inflammatory, she, like, corrects it. Um, and I just like little attentions to detail in the writing like that. I think it's cool. I think it's really cool. Yeah, it sounds neat. I think I would like that one. I think you would, too. You said it's on Hulu? Yeah. Yep. Hmm. Called Shogun. Bobby, you're very funny. When are we going to have a shotgun wedding? I love that shark gif. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just sending you their their chat log. <laughs> this is fucking. <laughs> She's like, I felt uncomfortable. I want to avoid him. <laughs> fucking retarded. <laughs> It's so stupid. 
Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> that's silly. Oh my god. First part is they totally train these things to be like flirtatious. Yeah. Oh man. God. I remember like years ago when, um, remember Cleverbot? Yeah. Oh man, I wish I still had the uh, the childlike enthusiasm I did when I was a teenager, because I have I had the conversation saved. I think Cleverbot like wiped it, um, but I had this big long spree of me basically doing what people do to ChatGPT now, where they like uh, uh, gaslight it. But huh. I tried to, I kept yelling at it, like, kind of like a Black Ops interrogation, where I'm like, "What did you do in Panama? <laughs> we know what you did." Like shit like that, and I was just trying to get it, to, get it to like fess up to something. That's um, really funny. Yeah, that's the uh, the the bad cop like police interrogation shit they do, where they try to like <laughs> like force you into a confession. Mm -hmm. oh, man. That's what I was doing, and I'm like, this is such a funny. Um, I'm like, it's such a funny chat. And I'm like, man, I could be doing that with ChatGPT, but it's like, I don't care anymore. Oh, yeah, I would like dick around like that as a mom. Remember those, like, NPC stream things? That were a thing for a while, like last year? What were they? Like those NPC streams where people would send, like, the fucking, like, ice cream? Uh, people still do that. Still? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, they're kind of dying, but I saw one the other day where... It's like if you send, like, fucking galaxies or something, he's got to, like, jump off camera. It's so lame. It's like he's got to, like, jump off camera and do, like, an alpha change. And he's sitting there, like, obviously pretending to be mad. Like, stop sending galaxies. Oh, my fuck. Fuck, guys. Fuck. You know, it's exhausting, man. Fuck. And it's like, dog, it's probably, like, because I, I, I think the galaxies are, like, expensive. Like, f fucking 20 bucks, 40 bucks. I don't know. That's nuts. It's like... It's like, oh yeah, please stop sending me a ton of money, guys. Stop spamming money, guys. Yeah. Stop spamming money. Like, fucking fuck you. Shut up, dude. I hate that shit. I, I, it actually drives me fucking mad. Um, and it also uh, kind of makes me understand the point where, like, this is Satan's domain. And um, so doing the <laughs> right thing is not going to be rewarding. No, because, like, think about no, it. No, I, I agree. It's just, like... All the people that do, like, crazy jeopardizing stuff where they whore themselves out for money being, like, an NPC or you scam people with drop shipping and, and like, AI scam content, mm -hmm. they get rewarded with, like, money and, and pleasure and attention. But it's, like, being, like, a good person really does not reward you anything. But if you're truly besides... a good person, you wouldn't care about the rewards of money, attention, and pleasure... It's not that I'm being a good person for that. It's frustrating that doing the right thing doesn't give you good results, even if you're not looking for the good results. Like, come on. You know what I mean? You would have other values, like family and having a good time and looking at nature. Or no, that's awesome, but family and a good time doesn't pay the fucking bills. If you were a good person, you wouldn't have bills. You would be homeless. <laughs> you would live in a cave. I would live in a Squanchdale Dingleton. Holy fucking shit. You look like who? Look like one of them once? NPC. <laughs> I think that was just like a, a racial comment. Of, <laughs> you but... look like... Or just like somebody losing their, their absolute shit. Ah, you look like one of them! <laughs> yeah, they told you you look like an NPC? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta use a... I have no fucking clue what you're talking about. There's a bit of uh, delay. Without particular language. I'm foul boy. I love everybody around me, and I always do good. I'm playing a map that's set in Tennessee. Ooh, oh, Tennessee. MG. You know, one of them. Those egg people. 
egg worms. Ugh, man. That drive was cool, but man, that was a that was a a lot of work. The drive down to Texas. Yeah, I feel like it would get a little bit insane. Yeah, because it, it kind of left me genuinely thinking, like, do I want to do that again? Um, might. It would be f more fun with a buddy. Yeah, it'd be crazy. It would be crazy with a buddy. Well, I know. But, um, it's, th the van is just kind of, like, maybe I'll get it cleaned up and everything will be better, but the van is just kind of painful to, uh, drive those kind of distances. Yeah. I, I think just because it's a little, ch little clunky, I think once I get, like, the suspension cleaned up, um, oh, yeah. <clears throat> and, like, that exhaust leak fixed and the headliner and I think it'll be kind of quiet and drive smoother. It's just so expensive on gas. But I think yeah, the problem was, is for the downside. first, for the way, on the way, I kind of didn't grasp, like, the aerodynamics of the van, and I think I just drove it too fast and just sucked gas out of it. Because you really, if you go above seventy miles an hour, you are, um, you're just like siphoning gas out of the out of the tank. That sucks, actually. That's fucked. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. It's with every car. There's a certain level of like aerodynamics where the like resistance is just it. You the engine has to work too hard to maintain that speed. Hmm. Most cars are aerodynamic enough to where you, like you really you'd have to be going like a hundred miles over a hundred miles an hour to be like that, but. Like, my charger's great. I can go, like, 90 and still have decent gas. Um, I never considered that. Yeah. I never thought about it too much until I had... Until I could physically feel the uh, air resistance on the van. Where it's like a gust of wind would, like, blow you off. Like, blow your steering off. That's kind of scary. Yeah, I was about to say, that's frightening. Yeah, because you'd be, like, driving in kind of, like, a small valley. You know, where there's, like, ditches on... Like, there's, like like raised ground on each side of you and then you come out in the open and you get hit by like a gust of wind and it like makes you swerve a little bit yeah that's yeah there were times where it was a very sketchy drive um where i kind of had to like disassociate the fact that this is like technically like extremely dangerous <laughs> that's freaky I would get, like, super wigged out. I'd be like, whoa, what the hell? What the hell, man? What the fuck? That's why I can't trust you as a wingman. No! No! I'd be doing scary shit. Uh, you would look and I'd be missing from my seat and I'd be, like, crawling around the outside of the car. That'd be crazy. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'll be doing that. Never do it again. Never do it again. <laughs> Never do it again. Never do it again. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> He's Ben and Yatters. Guys, I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy efficiency mode. I wish the good guys won World War II. Define good guys. I don't know. I wish the bad guys, um, like the movie with the like animals and shit, won World War II. I like that movie. I heard it was like garbage, but I haven't seen it. So really, who said yeah. that? Um, asshole film critics. <laughs> Fun movie. I liked it. Yeah, I heard it was lazy and dumb and stupid and a little bit racist. The movie was racist. Yeah. How? That's the one where the gorillas are in jail. That's sing. <clears throat> oh, I don't know then. Fucking asshole. I thought that was kind of crazy. The gorillas are like criminals and they're voiced all by black people. So which one is... Which one's the bad guys? The bad guys is the, the gang of animals that does heists. Um... Is that also from Illumination? What studio did that? I don't fucking know. Oh. The bad guys is
DreamWorks. Oh. Getting my uh, animal movies I haven't seen mixed up. Oh, what a sequel is in development for this. No way. I want to see Diane Roxington, Foxington, uh, getting her back blown out. This guy's fucking fucked up, guys. I'm crazy. This guy's crazy, guys. I wonder what Chungle's up to at this time. I was thinking that. I'm like, where is he? He's gonna show and be like, oh, hey, guys. Um... I think it's so funny that the Helldivers devs were like, we gotta give him something hard. Let's have him kill two billion <laughs> bugs <laughs> and we'll give him a whole week to do it. They probably won't do it. Um, and then we, <laughs> we fucking completed it in like less than 12 hours. I think that's fucking awesome and crazy. I think it'd be insane to have like a planet wipe uh, quest like that, like kills, kill nine billion automatons. I eat in my room almost exclusively. You're gonna get baloney goblins under your bed, dude. That's no I good. hate you. I hate it when games have uh, splitting storylines. I'm playing the Wolfenst Wolfenstein 2, and like immediately it's like, all right, choose this way or that way. And I'm like, God damn it. I think it's one of the games that doesn't matter all that much, maybe. It's just a different. Ca it's like in the other game, you have to choose to sacrifice one character or the other. Yeah, I remember in this, that. In this one, it starts you off like, all right, you're going to do the Wyatt timeline. And I'm like, is it going to be any different? Like. We need a squirt rug. Anybody got a squirt rug? No. Belogna Goblin. Belogna Goblin? I'm the Belogna Goblin. Belogna Goblin, Belogna Goblin. Belogna Goblin, Goblin, Goblin. Blessed are you, my ninja. Belogna Goblin, Belogna Goblin. As opposed to the, 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 the Lasagna Goblin. Boglin. Stop it. Nilbog. Troll 2. Brother drives me insane. Why? Um, he does this shit at dinner where he'll, I don't, I don't even fucking know what his goal is. <laughs> um, but one, he's usually like really gross. It makes a bunch of gross comments. Yeah. Um, which is, it drives me fucking insane. He'll be like. Right. This yeah, we'll looks like cum on my plate. Ew, what? It's literally, I'm not, I'm not even joking. What is I'm, fucking wrong with him? I don't know. 
Um, but then, like, yesterday, he sits down and he goes, Facts don't care about your feelings. Lizzo's fat and disgusting. Uh, like, to yeah. the, like, to the table. And I'm like, what, right. is your, what is your end goal here? Is the German still there? No, no, German's gone. He's gone? Yeah, we, we, we put an end to him. Did everything go smoothly with him? The German? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Um, my mom's still bitching about him, though. <laughs> Whoa, this game dropped the end bomb. Whoa. I better pick it back up. Where's everybody going? Bingo. <laughs> feel like right off the bat he's mad at um kind of interesting his abusive father is pissed off because he uh because his son is is messing around with a black girl and he's uh -oh. like ah it's gonna ruin my reputation my business genuine concern with a clementine <laughs> I'm, I'm bad with vengeance whoa and he's talking bad about jews oh my The vengeance was sold separately. Vengeance was sold separately. Indeed. What do you guys do if you walk downstairs to get a snack from the fridge and freaking Dirk Strider was sitting on your couch? I would draw my Helsing revolver. <laughs> and then what? Red is still uh, salty about the Balag and the Goblin. Oh my god, I'm so productive. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit.
The old and the weak are doomed. Well, you know what I think is funny about games like Wolfenstein? Um, I think that's what this game is called. Is it's Frankenstein. The guns are enormous, and it's like guys will just like fucking like hand them around. Like yes. One hand them, and it's like this gun looks like it weighs forty five pounds. I I love that. I I love the era of like, uh, fucking Wolfenstein, Bioshock, like Fallout, like big fucking chunky gun. <laughs> it's my favorite. It's supposed to be like a submachine gun, and it's like fucking giant. And yeah, he's just holding this thing like it's a pistol. It's crazy. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Cause your guy is just badass. I do. I love this arrow. Like I love this this style where it's like, I'm awesome. Yeah. And fucking... I kill. And it's like yes, Mr. Blaskowitz or whatever this fucking guy's name is. You do it. Like I'm in a wheelchair right now, fighting guys. <laughs> I just got out of surgery. I'm in a wheelchair. One hand is moving the wheelchair, the other is is, is shooting up these crowts <laughs> with a with a submachine gun. That's fucking that's fucking awesome. It's hilarious. I used to hate shit like this as a kid. Like that's unrealistic, but I think it's so fun now. Yeah, I, I love it. Tired of realism. Oh shit! I gotta keep getting health. Fuck. Oh, gotta take the elevator because I'm in a wheelchair. See, that's realistic. Cook up those stairs. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my goodness. The weak shall perish under the might of our strength. I can't stand when people don't know how to peel clementines. Like they rip off a million tiny pieces instead of just removing the entire peel in one big swirly piece. Um... I I do it in two halves. Sorry. Uh, Sometimes they are connected in the middle, but uh, I don't know. I don't know how I do it. Um, if I have a knife, I can I can clean them up pretty fast. Yeah. But I don't do it in one piece. What I try to do is find the natural, uh, you know, like connection point and kind of put the knife in that, so I'm not like chopping the pieces up, and then I use that and just start peeling from there. Bob, what color your eyes? The floor is very wet. Um, I will say I'm terrible at peeling oranges, and I, I fucking destroy those things. God damn it, I fuck them up. I'm so sorry, oranges. I didn't mean for it to end this way. Oh, man. I've been thinking about my silly narration idea a lot. Okay. Which is? Uh, we all, we all, uh, be different characters in a silly, goofy story. Like, we all, we all do, like, a group read. Like, a foul boy reads. Mm. Man, Blaskowitz is gonna need a, uh, colostomy bag. <laughs> oh my god. That's funny, like, in the very beginning, like, a grenade mangled him up, and he lost most of his intestines. Um, the guy even said that, he's like, you're gonna have to, uh, 
you know, you're gonna have trouble using your schmeckle. <laughs> Who said that? That's, this is fucking excellent. Bob, you're crazy, girl. I say guy because girls don't shit. When I'm angry, turn red. What I'm sad. Like, I think it, the idea of a woman shitting is so crass. I just wish you girls would cut that out. <laughs> it's like that. Um, uh, Vinyl J makes a joke about that. Um, in Carnival of Carnage, where he like steps on a girl's face because she like went to the bathroom, <laughs> and he says, "Female shitting is news to me." <laughs> <laughs> Funny fucking guy. Fucking excellent. No, just the fact that you produce it is crass. You know, just get get stop doing that. Just shows a total disregard to your beauty. <laughs> I'm blush squids. I gotta give these guys credit. Uh, though I think this game only came out in like 2018. Um... I gotta give them credit for keeping all the swastikas and stuff, but... Even then, 2018 is still relatively recent. I guess so, yeah. Everlasting snot. 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 <laughs> I fucking I fucking love snot. God damn That's it. great. I really I think my favorite song of theirs is uh, I Just Lie. That's a good one. I um, just I really like the the like industrial guitar riff. It sounds so much like a, it. I don't know how to put. It, it sounds like fucking um like a mech mech music. I don't know how to explain it. Um, the game, the game Armor Core, it just sounds like like music for that. Yeah, fuck yeah. Um, I like their more like chill, jazzy stuff in that album. Like their three little uh, tracks. I don't think I've heard any of that. Oh my god, they're so they're so fucking good. Um, after I, I end it. the stream, be like, hey, show me those songs, and I'll I'll do them. Um, I remember. All right. Also, I kind of hate it when games have too many collectibles. Not like collectibles, but like too much looting stuff where it's like, hey, um, there's stuff everywhere, all over the place, and there's things hidden everywhere. Because mm -hmm. I get like OCD and I have to search everything and yeah. find everything. I am so sick of uh, fucking, hey, pick shit up to craft with, crafting materials. Yeah. Fuck you. Let me. The Bioshock system had it perfect. Where you don't, you don't have an inventory, and you just pick up as much ammo, um, any like food items, you you eat them instantly, <laughs> like, you know, I, it was so uncomplicated. Um, it's really turning me off from like, even though Fallout New Vegas is like good, um, most of the items in that are just like retarded crafting materials, and I just like, I want fuck, man. New Vegas. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Just jungles, but um, play it. Um, that's what killed me with um fucking uh the Bethesda's new game, whatever the fuck it's called. S S Garfield. Garfield, yeah. Garfield. Yeah, it um just too much shit, and it was like mundane shit, like oh, mm -hmm. fucking pen and notepad, and I'm like, should <laughs> I need? Do I need this? Is this gonna be like a mundane item that I need for crafting? Uh, who fucking knows? I didn't. The game was so goddamn boring. I didn't get far it, enough to figure it the, out. The problem is with Starfield, as opposed to, so Fallout Four, I think has the perfect system where it tells you what crafting elements are in like a junk item that you pick up. Exactly. Um, and that's fine because you could logically make sense of what it is. Starfield will tell you what crafting elements an item is, but it's weird sci-fi shit. So I don't know what I use that what I use to craft with this. I don't know if this is valuable. Um, and then on top of that, they also do the Skyrim thing where it's like, hey, every prop you could pick up. Um, 
So there's just too much shit. Yeah, and honestly, like, the money was tough because, like, a lot of things had, like, a monetary, fuck, a lot of things had, like, a monetary value, and I could hardly gauge what was worth collecting because I really just didn't know what was a lot of money in this game. So I feel like Fallout kind of, with a lot of the quests, will will start you out well where it's like, hey, uh, here's, here's some basic rewards. This will give you kind of an idea of what the economy is like. Yeah. But Starfield, I don't know, I just... I also just was not paying attention to the game. I I don't even think I got past a lot of, like, the introductory quests. I don't think I did at all. I did, like, one or two quests in that. And I was like, I hate this game. I, I gave Starfield boring, a tedious. solid chance. And I'll say I like the little world they create. And I like a lot of the characters. And there's some cool locations. And it feels very bethesda at some parts. But by golly, do I hate flying that ship around. Do I hate yeah. fucking plotting um, where to land? Just let me land. Let me fly up to the planet and do a cutscene. Don't make me plot where I have to fucking land. Um, it's just it's just like, let me go through like three menus just to land my ship. Um, it sucks. Um, it's just every mechanic is like annoying and overly complicated. Um, yeah, and if, the flying was not intuitive, dude. No, it was, it was terrible. Um... And then the ship combat, like, good fucking luck. Uh, like, sometimes pirates would contact you and shit, or, like, threaten you, and do the, hey, pay up or get fucked. And I'd be like, all right, I choose to get fucked, but I'm going to beat you in this fight. You are not beating them in that fight. Holy yeah. shit. Especially as a beginner. Um, you're done for. Yeah, the flying just always felt like... I always felt like I couldn't see enough and I couldn't do enough. Um, yes. And honestly, I think the I think the system where it's like, oh, I'll take this away from the thrusters and put it into these. I didn't like that. Yeah, I feel uh, like it gave me too much messing around. I do like that, but I wish. And there might there this might be a thing where it is more fleshed out later. I'll I'll tell you why I like that. The game does a good job of replicating classic sci-fi shit. Um, and, it, and that that's that's the one thing that kept me going. I like being a space smuggler. I like um, being in a gunfight and being like, divert power from thrusters, and we need it all on the shields, and I have to like, do that. Um, that's me, fucking cool. Let me uh, I like that concept. I don't like kind of... I, I wish I could have like a preset. That's that's what I was getting into. I wish that you had a crew that did more, and it was just like automatic, um, or you could just like, you know, do shit. Yeah, because I really don't like having to... I don't like... I don't like micromanaged games. I want a lot of things to be automated. Yes. That's why I stopped um, playing RTS games, because I don't want to have to fucking manage the squad's movements. Like, they should know to get in cover in a firefight. They should know to maneuver this way. Like, I just want to give them a task and set them off. I want to be, like, the general. I don't want to be, like, the squad leader. Exactly. Um, and then another thing I loved in Starfield, um, that honestly, I, I, I might just replay oh, the game just awesome. to... But I'm gonna slide around on her knees now. <laughs> Excellent. Um, what the hell? I went all the way back to the beginning. God fucking damn it! What's it called? Um. Um. Oh yeah, I loved going down to planets and doing the fucking Star Trek thing, where I pull my scanner out and scan all the life forms. That was the best thing in Starfield. Honestly, I might do like a like a science playthrough where I'm literally just here to discover shit and do stuff on my own. Um, it's it's the one thing that the game did really, really well. Because um, you could also scan from like a planetary scale and see where all the resources were and see like detect life and shit. Um, and it was it was very cool and immersive for what it was. But it's just the ship stuff is too combat to be like clunky and actiony. Um, I don't know, the whole thing's just fucked. And I really hope it's not, like, a bad omen for Elder Scrolls 6. But I don't think you could fuck up Elder Scrolls 6. It's fucking Elder Scrolls. It's... It's simple. It could literally just be Skyrim with more stuff, and I would love it. I really hope the new Elder Scrolls is good. It's gotta be. Um, Press E to show Anya you're okay. I need Elder Scrolls to be good. I need... I need GTA 6 to be good. Yeah, I'm serious. I will kill myself. 
<laughs> oh my god. I will I will be a family annihilator, I'll be a workplace annihilator if GTA 6 is bad. Everybody around me is dying. <laughs> like it, it's it's doomsday. I'll make a dirty bomb and destroy half the county. Everybody's dying if GTA 6 is bad. <laughs> You're saying this at a gaming convention? <laughs> I've got this place rigged to blow. <laughs> it's it's like Rockstar revealing their next trailer too. You're like <laughs> you're there in front of everybody. See, and what's funny is they call you. They're like, "All right, buddy, like stop being dramatic. That's enough." And I pr I pull out like an array of detonators and I press one and like the building shakes. <laughs> and I'm like, I will set them all off. It's freaking nuts. Um. <laughs> Dirtiest bomb you've ever seen, baby. <laughs> um. Uh. Oh yeah, and I don't. So I don't need the new Silent Hill games to be good, but I do need the Silent Hill Two remake to be good. That's all I want. Um, me too. Me too. I I fucking hope it's good. I hope it's good and fun, and then you can play it, and then you can be like, "This was pretty awesome." Um, I hope it's not a clunky, fucked up mess, and it's like enjoyable and coherent. You're crazy. Yeah, man, I'm crazy. Ew. Guys, am I ins am I insane for this one? <laughs> That's so mean. Oh my god. What? <laughs> That's such a funny fucking scene. Um. So the, have you played Wolfenstein at all? Yeah, I played the first one. Uh, not all of it though. I'm like four or five chapters in. Wolfenstein. Yeah. Um. Oh man, I think they're gonna keep it a small thing. But her, the, the you know the main bitch, the evil blonde woman from the other game. Yeah. Um, her daughter is like fat. Um. And she's like. Like, so-and-so, why are you breathing heavy? And she's like, I don't know, mother. She's like, you don't know. <laughs> uh, then she went on to, like, a big tirade, and it became less of, like, a subtle funny joke. Just yelling at her for being fat. Yeah. It's funny how obvious uh, plot points become when you uh, just pay attention. Yeah. There's so many games that I went back to that I played as a kid that I did not fucking understand at all as a kid. Yeah. Um, that was kind of me with uh, everything. A big one I gotta revisit that I don't think will be good is, uh, like, Gears of War. I remember playing in, like, Gears of War 3 and having no fucking idea what was going on at all, ever. I don't like Gears of War. Um, I don't either. I think it's it ugly. Was... Yeah. It was cool to play as a fella, because it was just something else to play, because, um, you know, it was kind of like a dark age for uh, games like Halo and stuff, where I'm like, I need another Halo, and there's, I gotta wait, and there's nothing coming out, so I was like, God, oh, Gears of War. Um, but, yeah, I agree, it's ugly, I hate the color palette. Um, it's like everything's it, gray it plays, and brown. <laughs> it's clunky, it plays heavy. Which I get, because your guy is like a 300 pound muscle man. But like, fuck, dude. Muscle man? Hi. No, bro. Um. Uh, what's up, what's up, chat? What's up, chat? <clears throat> This is a reminder to invite all your real life friends into the Discord. Please. Jungle won't do it because he's a baby. I actually find that really funny. Huh? What? Um, Jungle won't invite any of his IRL friends because they don't want to see how weird he is online. But he also doesn't do anything weird <laughs> online. He's like... Well, I think he's worried it'll transfer to him. That's true, but... I almost invited one of my classmates, but... Uh, I was thinking about my posts in the dungeon, and I'm like, I don't want anybody knowing that's me. <laughs> Except Maybe all when my I'm more coworkers. 
Maybe when I, I don't care about them. I don't want my classmates knowing. Nah, I got you. I don't want our moms. That'd be terrible. Filthy dregs festering in the ghetto. <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't go as far as to say that. <laughs> God, this guy is so cool. He's like a fucking like Nazi armored mech dude. I love that. I fucking... He's fucking crazy looking. Oh, what do you think the next uh, war bond is going to be next month for uh, Helldiver? What? The next war bond. I don't fucking know, dude. I don't know. I just thought you'd have some fun theories, like 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 fantasy. Like, what would you want? I hate that so much. Sorry. What were you saying? Nothing. I don't want to. You're being mean to me. I was always. <laughs> chat <laughs> um no, like like what would you want it what would you want it to be theme wise i want it to be that like german armor that they uh <sighs> i want it to be that german armor that they keep playing i think that's in the game it's not it i it, it cycles through the superstore i think i've heard people say oh i got it and then i heard other people say this is just a concept it's so it's definitely in the game files because I've seen um, videos of people playing with it because you could like cheat it in. Um, Whoa! Look how fucking cool these guys are. <laughs> these guys are fucking sick. Right? Uh, coolest fucking guys ever. <laughs> Second guy especially so fucking crazy looking. Yeah. Because he's um, sitting there with like his big glowing eyes. I love that. I, Wolfenstein's so good at just making shit look cool. Yeah. That's what's always funny with these games, is like, look how evil the future is with, if the Nazis won, and everybody's like really cool looking and shit's crazy. <laughs> yeah. This... Um. I think the next Warbond has to be uh, melee weapons. Oh, sorry, I'm, there's, there's a, it's a cutscene, so I'm uh, like, no listening to both of you. What's your fucking problem? Oh, I think the next Warbond is probably going to have at least one uh, melee weapon. I hope. It would be pretty sick. Um, people really want them. I think they would be so fun. Um, either as, like, a secondary or maybe even, like, a special, like, stratagem you can call down. I would love to, like, call down, like, my Gundam-style, like, energy sword. It'd be awesome. <clears throat> I want, like, a Quan Squanchdale Dingle. I don't really know what you mean by that, but I really appreciate your energy. Thank you. <laughs> I got like a boner and I'm like jumping. <laughs> oh man. I'm like trying really hard not to like look. <laughs> I'm like, <"Ugh." laughs> it's like a comic uncomfortable. Because you know, I have like, you can see I have like a dent in my skull. Oh man. <laughs> uh, they actually killed that character. Okay. I really do like when a game like brutalizes their main characters. Um, like they killed off kind of an important character from the last game, and it was kind of like it was, like they cut her head off, and it was unflattering. Like her body kind of like twitched, and you could see like her eyelids kind of fluttering as her like cut off heads there. Oh my god, <laughs> that's horrible. This is a fucking crazy scene. Holy shit. The crazy Nazi woman's like laughing her ass off because she just cut the head off, and she picks up the the your teammate's head and is like sh like waving it in your face and like yell like making fun of you she's like ooh, ooh, look at this and like trying to like scare you with it <laughs> fucking insane what a bitch um i love you bob i'm so glad that you're happy you're the best thing you ever happened to me bob oh my god um jesus but yeah besides melee weapons i would love more stealth specific weapons i think silenced weapons would be fucking awesome um, um, see, I like all of the, uh, the war bonds because they, they make sense and they, they, they work it into the lore. And I think that's so fucking cool. I um, love lore and so we can cool. have like a bit of an arc where we get like really desperate, um, 
and we're like, hey, we have to like prolong the lives of our hell divers. Here's a bunch of like stealth shit, like <laughs> seek and destroy, uh, like fucking enemy camps. Um, I love law and coolness. Me too. Um, I want concentration camps in this game. In Wolfenstein. Yeah. Be interesting. No, and um, War War Thunder. Hell divers. <laughs> Um. What is the fucking melee button? F. There's no fucking melee button. Middle middle mouse. Nope. I tried all of it. Mm. Did you try oh. V? I w I look forward to the future. Um. End quote. Good quote. No, where if we can. I would love a game where it has AI that can uh, alter the storyline based on whatever your decisions are. Yes. Uh, with like an ultimate end goal in mind. Um, but I would love it if you could if you could just like fuck the story up. Huh. Because um, this one character was like, was like, please just you know just kill me, <clears throat> make it quick. Um, and I tried to shoot her, but uh, you're not supposed to shoot her. Mm. Um, but I just thought about how cool it would be if I could just fucking kill her. Find your P's and Q's, guys. Fuck you, cunt. There's a jump. Um, oh. I think that would be sick. I think that would be perfect for, um, drum roll, please. Uh, Silent Hill. Um, <laughs> <No, no, no. laughs> genuinely, though, because that's the Silent Hill 2 thing. Um, yeah. oh, dual wielding, nice. I love the theme. Fuck yeah. The game's got swastikas and dual wielding. What, what more can <laughs> I ask for? That's all you need. Um,. But that'd be so fucking cool is if your little, little Silent Hill narrative uh, could take oh, hey, a number go. of turns based on how you are, how you how you be. Sure, sure. I just found my melee weapon. I think that'd be cool for your little Silent Hill games. Um, Guy just fucking shushed me. Guy just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I love doing that as a joke. It's it's like so infuriating. It's not a joke if you're just doing it. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Shush. See? See, you found that funny. You are about to hit me. <laughs> like, uh, looking around like... frantically for something to hit you with. See, I really do think it's ironic um, when you get game devs where it's like, hey, design, like, fascist propaganda and, like, fascist... Uh, like stuff like this and like imagery and it all turns out really fucking cool looking um and i think it kind of genuinely shows the duality of man where it's like hey yeah this shit's pretty fucking cool um, um and the designers probably probably low-key enjoy you know making it look awesome oh yeah of course because it's cool as fuck that's what i'm saying um i'm just saying there's some people where it's like this nazi stuff not sweet not sweet I hate that. And I'm like, um, you know it's wicked fucking imagery? Um, and I just think it's really interesting. Is in the fucking cutscene where it's like... You got the fucking KKK walking around with like Nazis and shit. That's insane. <laughs> That's bonkers. Fucking insane. Yeah. Um, I think it's so annoying the people that can't separate like fiction from reality... Seriously. Um, there's some guy I used to watch on YouTube. I, I kind of want to see what he's up to these days, or at least revisit a little reviews. Um, because the shit was in, he was like super autistic, obviously. Um, and it was just fucking, he would review like Family Guy episodes based on like, oh, in this episode, Brian's a bad person. And <laughs> it's like, fucking okay. <laughs> Which is like, in some cases, like fair, but that's kind of the entire Family Guy shtick is that oftentimes really yeah, yeah Brian's a fucking I... shithead no he is Brian's yeah. like an actual fucking worthless piece of shit I think they kind of all are nah I think Family Guy used to maybe I'm just fucking uh, not seeing it but um I think Family Guy used to be a little more innocent yeah um, it used to all the characters used to be good like I feel like Brian was still, like, a little bit of a scumbag, but I haven't watched a lot of the old Family Guy. I think I, Brian as... went from, like, a smartass to being, like, a scumbag. Yes, definitely. Just like how Lisa Simpson also went from being, like, a smartass to, like, 
a worthless, obnoxious cunt. Yeah. Um. But that's like the decay. Like it gets. You can't. They gotta keep making it interesting. Mm -hmm. Um. I feel like to some extent it's lazy, and you could have better like character development. Um. But also, if all your characters continue to develop and get better, eventually the characters are uninteresting because they're all perfect. Um, so some back backpedaling in their development is kind of necessary to keep things interesting. I think specifically with, with Family Guy, um, it's fine to have episodes where characters are like completely wrong and bad. Um, but yeah, this guy would just like endlessly critique like the morals of like shows. Um, in, like, not a really constructive way, um, just, like, um, like, fucking, for example, I don't, <laughs> fucking, I think it was, I think it was Brian, yeah, it was definitely Brian Griffin, it's one of the characters he ripped into a lot, um, where he would be like, who cares if this episode paints Brian as a, in a good light because he's doing a good thing for Stewie? We've still seen in the past that he's like a bad father and an alcoholic and reprehensible. Um, and he like, you know, he, he's, a, he's like a womanizer. It's like, why are you fucking... He's not real. He isn't real. <laughs> he yeah. fucking calm down. Because he sees in Brian when he <laughs> sees in himself. I just think he's like hardcore autism. True, true. Um, he would do the same thing for like fucking Spongebob episodes too. Really? Yes, I'm not even joking. I'll have to find some of this guy's, like, more, um... What about wag job? Yes. I, I, I just remembered him today. He's, like, one of those guys that you, like, watch for a while, um, and then you forget about for, like, ever. Yeah, yeah. And he, like, lives in your subconscious. Like, fucking, um... Who's the one... Fucking... The Amazing Atheist. <laughs> um... I totally forgot about him. Yeah. I forgot about him, too, until I saw, like, a, like a meme recently... That, like, Bob loves the Amazing Atheist. Right, Bob? Um, Bob's a devout atheist. <laughs> Worships jack shit every day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stealing that. <laughs> um, but... But yeah, I remember, like, freaking... Like, Kyle Garvey getting me, like, briefly into the Amazing Atheist. Um, and I'm, like, this guy's kind of nuts. Um. That's funny. Yeah, I totally, I totally forgot about him until recently. And I'm like, how many other insane creators, um. Could you pass Um. I wish the Germans would embrace their history. I don't. I just am sick of Germans feeling guilty all the time. I think they should just stop. I, I agree they should stop feeling guilty, but I don't think they should embrace Like, I don't know. Not define like embrace, define embrace. I think it's... I don't think it's fair how Germans can't be, like, proud of being German or, like, proud of their country. Like, it's yeah. very... It's, like, very frowned, frowned upon for Germans to be, like, prideful, like, mm -hmm. national... A nationalist, but like you know, yeah. I just think it's, it's a little bit mean. Well, it's like a generational thing where it's like, hey, we uh, don't want you to do that again, so we're gonna make sure you guys are taught not to, not to go, you know, not to be too proud. I think they're slowly growing out of it. Oh, cool! I'm soft locked. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> wow. Um, good game, guys. I got out of it. Uh, I th and see, what I don't get is, like, modern games don't have any sort of, uh, failsafe for that. Like, if your character is, like, stuck, there should be something that teleports them out. There should. Some games, some games do it. Yeah, I they used like to be, like, commonplace it. in games, but now it's, like, you know. Yeah, I had, like, one do it, and I was very impressed with that game. Um, and I don't think I'll tell you which one it was. Oh. Yeah, I'm crazy. That it's alright. Um, yeah. but I recently rediscovered this YouTube animator that I used to watch when I was like 10 that Probably made... not true. I forget, I forget that message was like 10 minutes ago. Yeah. Um, they used to make like silly, like Resident Evil animations. No, they didn't. I was obsessed with... Okay. 
What are you talking about, dude? Isn't it crazy how the good guys always win? Oh, that's a cool fucking helmet. What is that? It's a dude helmet. Dude helmet. Yeah, I want the good guys to lose more. Hmm. <laughs> Like I said, I think it's just crazy. Like, all throughout history, like, good has always won. But has it, though? Yeah, definitely. I mean, come on. <laughs> I think that the history is written by the victor. Yeah, I know, that's the joke. Now we just have to figure out who victor is. <laughs> me, me and him are looking for Victor Reznov. <laughs> looking for Victor Reznov. God, poor guy. Fucking funny. Oh my god. <laughs> I I had the strangest interaction at work today. Really? Yeah. This fucking guy came in for crickets, and I'm like, "Oh, can I help you?" And he looks at me. Makes like a fake sad face and draws like a like with his finger like a tear going down his eye and then oh. he like and he fucking like laughs and I'm like what <laughs> like, can I help you? He's like yeah I'm just here for crickets. I'm like what the fuck and I come back up like like do I know this guy and like um both of my my coworkers said I were like do you like know him? What the fuck was that? And I'm like I'm like so glad you guys saw that. Like what the fuck? Like what does that mean? Wait, you asked him if he needed help, and that's it? No, yeah, I asked him if he needed help. He made, like, this exaggerated, like, like sad face, and then did, like, a, like drew, like, a, a tear coming down his cheek. I'm like, what the fuck? Um, and so I asked him again, and he's like, yeah, man, I just need crickets. <laughs> and was totally normal after that. Um, but he also did it, like, in front of, like, all my coworkers. Um, I'm thinking, um, maybe, because this is what fucking jokesters always do, where it's like, do you need help? And they're like, huh, oh, not, not the, not the kind you can, you know, like, oh, I need a therapist. Oh. Um, I wonder if that was like his autistic. It, uh, it could, that could have been it. Thought process. Um. Bob, I, um... Bobby, when, when the rapture happened, um... Let me, let me, um, let me clear this up for you. If, if you don't, if you don't get raptured, you can always hang out with us. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder what Violent J is up to right now. Probably even weird comments. <laughs> he probably is. No, I'm worried about, uh, worried about little bro. <laughs> Bobby... Um, let's talk about your faith. Uh, and how I think it's lacking. I find, I find your lack of faith disturbing, Bob. Um, oh, there it is. Do you know that Stinky thought that was Darth Vader's catchphrase for a while? Like, it was something he said, like, many times when we were watching Star Wars. Really? Yeah. She's like, what a weird catchphrase for them to give to him. Why does he say that so much? And I'm like, no, that's the only time he says it in the whole the whole franchise. She's like, what? I swear he says it all the time. And I'm like, like, what the fuck? Like, what a funny line uh, to have a character repeat many times. Um, like he's oh, just like, it. like a religious nut. I love it when this little overlay is uh, stuck on my fucking screen. And it won't go away. It, it's actually ridiculous. See, it's it's uh, it's good game design because uh, oh, yes. it makes you mad, and that creates a sense of little narrative consistency. 
Um, because the real character is mad about about Nazi. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the game not working correctly uh, and making you mad. Yeah. Uh, no, keep going. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. I could burn the pudding down. <laughs> <laughs> I finally went away. <laughs> nice hat, Bobby. What do you know about my? F what do you? Um. Bobby's name is J-Hat. What up, J-Hat? I just want to know, like, are you Christian? Or are you, like, kind of, um... I want to know uh, your opinion on everything. Ow. Yeah. I want to hear about... It's just, are you Christian? Are you former Christian? Or are you, like, a modified version? Do you Or do you just struggle with your previous um, experiences as a Christian? Oh, it's a cone head. Sorry, Bobby. I couldn't tell from this far away. You're a cone head. Dip tits. La, 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 la. And do you about? feel uncomfortable to be the, uh, the wild woman you want to be? Yo, it's Rich Adopt Me Player 31! Um, welcome back to the stream, buddy. How's it going? We're making insane progress. I'm actually like on a crazy, uh, like nonstop flow tonight. Bob doesn't really know. Bob's a favorite. Let's, let's ask important questions, Bob. Um, would you wait until marriage? Bob hasn't waited until marriage. Really? Yeah, Bob, Bob is, uh, Bob gets around town. <sighs> I think I knew, and I just didn't want to. Didn't want to hear it. <laughs> I have to go to bed, cadet. Well, thank you for stopping by, buddy. Yeah, I think waiting sucks. till marriage is retarded. Um, more power to you if that's what you want to do. Um, and if you have a partner that's like genuinely all for that, maybe it'll work out. But, God, fuck, I just, fucking damn it. Um, Ugh, my opinion. Waiting till marriage, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I died at the same exact fucking part and just fucking reset my progress. Is I there a the same, I made the same exact mistake where I, like, tried to pick up a gun. Oh, and I got man. killed doing it. I did it twice in a row. <laughs> That's the worst. Um, what was I about to say? Um... I feel like it's one of those things where if you find somebody that you're willing to wait until marriage for, you don't have to wait until marriage. Um, and also, I'm a big... Like, my opinion is that that's a really important part of your relationship, and I don't think you should wait until you're legally bound to figure out if you hate each other that way. Yes. I, because I, sometimes I, people are, like, just awful lays. Like, they're either just, like, selfish in the bedroom or just suck. Um, and I, that's, I, in my opinion, that's one of the biggest complaints I hear from, like, you know, disgruntled married couples. It's like, ah, oh, you never put out, or, ah, oh, you always want me to put out. And it's What's like... What's wrong if they just suck? What? Nothing. Well, when I say sucking, like, I mean, no, just I know. like, it was, we're, it was a not, joke. It was like a, man. like a fellatio joke. Dude, that's enough. That is dirty. <laughs> Like a like rancid, a, like a bag of trash that just ripped open and stop cussing, out. stop cussing. Fuck says, you, you fat Jew bitch. Anyway, um. Fucking dirt placing, motherfucker. Bob loves everything about the world. <laughs> Bob loves me, and I love Bob. I don't think you do. Holy shit, yeah. it's motherfucking break network. Hi, break network. You know, Welcome to the stream. I think it's really unfair to Stinky to be saying you love other women. Stinky's having uh, virtual sex with Dirk Strider right now. You know what? <laughs> you, gotta get, you gotta get back at that bitch. He's <laughs> so worldly. <laughs> you hear it here, folks. Bob is worldly. I can't watch you if you cuss. All right. Well. Are you serious? 
How old are you, uh, Rich, Rich Adopt Me Player 31? Yeah, I'm 40. 40, none your business. I'm 40, 40 chess. <laughs> yeah, it's so stupid. It's <laughs> so stupid. I still say uh, 3D chess. I think that's like one of the funniest. <laughs> like I'm over here playing 3D chess. Richard dot me player 31. Um, the curse well, words are okay. Crazy. Yeah, curse words. Cuss words are awesome. Yeah. They're sentence enhancers. They are. Well, you know, really, the reason why I curse a lot is one, because it makes sentences more stimulating. Um, and two, it's like saying um, but more fun. It's also to show passion and emphasis. Yeah, I like to curse. Yeah. I've been trying to do it less, because I think it's cringy when it's just like, fuck this, fuck that, fucking, fucking, fucking. Yeah, I, I feel like um, you gotta get like either creative with it or tasteful with it. Yeah, like you said, I just use it to kind of put emphasis on the language, or just can't it talk. No, they are not. I believe in God. I don't cuss. Um, okay. Jesus drops the F word every 10 seconds. Jesus has killed people. Yeah. Jesus has killed, uh, like, millions, if you, if, you, if you really break it down. I feel like, like, again, I just think um, some godly being... Jesus hung out not... with hookers. He did. And he touched their feet. It, oh my god. Dan, Dan Schneidus. But, um... I just think it's silly for God to be concerned with the bad words I say. I don't, because they are offensive to him, and it, you have a bad relationship with him. The fuck is my, my god, a Reddit moderator? Yes. Because here's, here's the thing. If God doesn't care, at the end of the day, what you do, he's not gonna... Um, punish you, but he's not gonna save you. Read the Bible! It's hilarious. <gasps> Read the Bible! Um, so, like, if you die and you go to heaven, and then God, God's hanging out there, um, and he's like, he's not gonna care if you cuss, but if you don't have a relationship with God, he's not gonna, like, help you out and let you into the kingdom of, uh, the kingdom God of is a means to an end. Gate. I, that is that is that's, that's that statement goes hard. <laughs> I don't know if you're joking or not. No, it just does. Um, I don't even know what a means to an end truly means. Like it's, a, it's one of those statements that's kind of hard for me to like decipher. It is a tool in order to essentially get what you want. Uh, like yeah, like yeah, the um, sense. like the. Oh yeah, like the, ato I, the atomic I, bomb was a means to an end. Uh, yeah, the end is the destination. The means is the way you do you do yes. it. Fuck, man, keep fucking dying. Bob, read the Bible. Uh, Rich, Bob but, uh, has read so much Bible in the world, all the Bible. Bob has probably had more religious experience than you, uh, Rich Richard, and that's probably why Bob is a little jaded with the church. Yeah, cause he's full of evil pedophiles. It really is. And the Pope got three heads. Pope does have three heads, and I'm sick of people pretending he doesn't. <laughs> I'm unsubbing. <laughs> Follow the uh, Fellboy livestream. We worship Satan. <laughs> <laughs> Legalize nuclear bombs. bombs. Somebody make me like a, like a gangster, like a hardcore gangster um, devil worshiper ad. <laughs> Fellboy livestream. Satan. Oh man. Subscribed. <laughs> I am a preacher's son. I'm so sorry. Oh, What's the son of a preacher, man? The only boy who could ever reach me. Why are you son of a preacher, man? That's how you dodge the draft. Why? One of my besties Why? growing up what? was past. You're tax son. exempt. You're tax exempt. Really? Rich adopted me as tax exempt because he's a son of a preacher. Fuck you. Oh, Rich fuck you. Me. Enjoy uh, that. This guy doesn't pay tax. I, I hate you. That's fucking so uncool. Oh man, doesn't have to pay taxes. Neither do nuns. Nuns don't have to pay taxes either. Dude, what the fuck? Like no, so no income tax, no nothing. Nope. What the fuck? That's bullshit. I hate that. That's bullshit, honestly. Bob name. Bob name. Bob Bob Burger. <laughs> no thanks. You probably know him. 
Oh my god, what if, um, Richard, Richard P. Dot is, um, is, uh, like, lives in Tennessee with Bob? No way. Whoa. Bro! Hit that like button to worship Satan. Fucking... Oh. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Love. Satan. F fucking fire crackling sounds in the background. <laughs> like... <laughs> Yeah, it, it it comes in with like a like a a, a ghastly scream like ah! yeah ah! Ah! worshiping <laughs> Satan like, <sighs> like oh fire and shit. somebody break network you're on the stream right please break Bre break I'll I'll do anything I'll pay you for this <laughs> I want to make a bunch of silly bumpers like that to play on stream <laughs> like fucking ridiculous shit Richard that is a that is a loophole. That's a loophole. You still thought you still thought the bad word, therefore, um, your soul is tainted, and you're gonna go straight to hell. <laughs> That's like Meta Knights um, using Meta Knight? like little loopholes. Uh, I saw a video of one operating a forklift. Yeah, from yep. outside of it, which is super dangerous. Yeah, well, that's um, also um, like the Christians having butt sex because technically they aren't losing their virginity. Yeah, and I, I think it's honestly more insulting than just sinning. Like, if I was a god, I would be so much more angry at someone uh, for, like, trying to... Bob is the preacher's son. Are you fucking retarded, Richard? Um, I would be so much more insulted as a god if someone tried to, like, trick me and then be like, Duh. No, I'm actually doing right. Yeah, it's 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 the Rezzers thing. Like, technically, you didn't say this was against the rules. Rather than just being like, hey, I'm a bad, bad boy. I'd be like, yeah, okay, no problem. I'm a bad, bad, bad. But... Richard is the Captain Price denomination. Mm. The Sergeant Pierce... Pierce Ramirez I'm denomination. I'm Chris. <laughs> it's a me, a Chris. Christian. <laughs> This guy's just lying. He's it's not a me, pastor, son. Christian. A type. He doesn't even know. It's a this guy's me, a mouse I'm pet. Jesuit. I'm gonna parade around this woman's cut off head. All? Oh my god. Oh, oh, he's all such types. That's a bullshitter, dude. It's okay. Richard, I'm gonna tell all, I'm gonna tell all my uh, all my demonic um, buddies to like um... <laughs> all my demonic actors of the underworld. <laughs> yeah, my my, my, bad, my bad actors. Oh, my my bad my bad faith. Uh... Richard P. Dot is definitely a fake Christian. Like he doesn't even know what denomination he is. I know my denominator. Yeah, at least common denominator it's, too. It, my denominator is root two. Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. It's irrational. <laughs> My denominator is root two because I'm fucking irrational. My the denominator is, is you have to rationalize the denominator if I... there's a square root in the bottom. I understood. It's a math joke. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for a sin. Are you fucking retarded, dude? What denomination are you? <laughs> He's a Seventh Day Adventist. Seriously. He's a Branch Davidian over here. Like, are you Orthodox? Are you Catholic? Are you Protestant? Are you Restorationist? Baptist, Lutheran, Methodist, Presbyterian, Roman Catholic, Eastern Orthodoxy, Penis oh. Orthodoxy. You go to RTPC! Did you watch any of the videos I sent you today? Because they were pretty funny. Um, I think I saw was, one. I was super busy at work today. I'll watch them they were really funny. after after stream finishes up. I promise. I only sent you two, I think. I know. They're fucking hilarious. I hate math too, Brad. Did you guys know I do, I'm doing math this semester? Yeah, he's addicted to math. Funniest joke in the world. Also, for you guys watching, um... Here's a really, really overpowered item. It's called the Hacker Egg. I'm not going to show you what's in it, but it's a bunch of items you can't get anywhere else, um, including command-related items uh, in the PvP. 
I need Bobby in my life. I need Bobby to remind me why I, why I love sitting. Hey Bobby, uh, show me Abernacle. your Bobbies. What the fuck? Tabernacle. Fucking <laughs> hey guys, you wanna go down to the Bob Ripley Tabernacle of Baptist Church? <laughs> Guy misspells Baptist. Baptist. <laughs> Baptist. Job to Baptist. This guy's in West Virginia. Yeah, you just doxed yourself. Uh, now, now my 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 horde of demons is gonna fucking get you. This looks evil. That'd be so funny, like, all of a sudden, there's a fucking, um, like, huge demonic presence. <laughs> up. Looking into it. We should have, we should attack this church. Yeah. In what way? Um, like, like a crazy attack, like a fucking, like, orbital strike. Yeah, orbital strike. The Pop Ripley Tabernacle Baptist Church. Bob Ripley Habanero Church. Who <laughs> up Tapper and they knackle? <laughs> uh, what's that one thing you said today that. Uh... Was chocolate at for so long. What? There's one thing you sent earlier that I was chuckling at, like like crazy pants. Please tell me. I'm trying to find it. Oh, the um, that's a lot of that's a lot of nuts. It was funny. Yeah. Fucking, <laughs> <laughs> that would have me laughing. That's why I love following that little like uh, film bot request thing because people just do funny shit like that. <laughs> this is so funny. Bread, do you know the name? I think it's so funny that Richard is <laughs> Richard opt uh, opt me. Um, that Richard over here um, is like asking for the name of everybody's church as if he's going to know them, and as if we're all in the same area. Yeah, <laughs> I think it would be cool if um, algorithms did refer you to like local people. But I think it could also be dangerous. Yeah, I, cause I would say that'd be like a cool idea for a site is like live streaming, but it's like location based and you algorithms uh, take in like people like nearest people. But also I could see people just using that to like target like, ins <laughs> like insane people using that for for wacky shit. Exactly. We've kind of gotten into this insane age where, um, people are genuinely kind of fucking crazy. And I just... Maybe it's just, like, paranoia because of the internet, but I just feel like people are... Paranoia, paranoia, everybody come to get me. I just, I just feel like they're not as, they're not as, like, chill. Like, things aren't, like, respectful and cool anymore. Like, it's genuinely nope. kind of risky. Yeah, everything's fucking nuts. Um... This is where, this is a hot take coming from me, but I really do think religion is useful for the common man, because, uh, there are, like, very simple people who need some sort of, like, threat of punishment, or they won't behave. Yes. Um, and I really do think that's why we have a lot of, like, fucked up people, is because there's no, there's really no threat. Except for all. And you could argue the world's better, because, like, oh, people just don't feel bad for being them, but it's also, like, yeah, but there were some people that, oh, that's, oh, man, I love this game. Okay. The blood splatters, like, streak down the wall, like, they leak down the wall. That's awesome. I, well, doesn't yeah. the one Robocop game do that? I believe so, yes. Big shout-out to any game that has uh, cool blood decals. It's like your, your dogs. What? Not gonna lie. Oh, when I went to a regular small and made kids dance for snacks. 
Where did uh, Richard Pryor go? Or uh, Rich Rich Ob He's dead. Rich Ob He's literally dead. Oh my god, the demons got him. Oh, I didn't. I didn't really. I didn't. I didn't know he was this weak. I <laughs> thought he could handle it. The rapture just happened. <laughs> <laughs> He's the only it. one. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <clears throat> oh, I think he actually left. Why does my scrolling work on this other fucking window? If I scroll while I'm playing this game, it like scrolls in my YouTube window on my other screen. It's kind of funny. What the it's fuck? Bullshit. It's fucking bullshit, dude. Chicken and waffles. Oh damn, this guy's head just got squished. Fred loves chicken and waffles. Um. What do you have to drink with your. God damn it! With your chicken. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Gospel. Fried chicken. Um. <laughs> the allegations are. Uh, we're not beating these allegations. I'm white, which means I love some good nookie. I don't think I don't think that's exclusively a white guy thing. I need uh, Lois. I need mixed race nookie. <laughs> don't do what? I'm not doing anything. Don't give in to the nookie temptation. I think she was uh, I know, talking where I was. I know. See that bread? But see, I'm a, a mature man, and I, I gave up on it because I realized it wasn't a tasteful uh, avenue of humor. I was like, you know what? Let's get off that one. I need all for the doggy for the doggy, so you could take that uh, cookie and uh, stick it up your... Stick um. up your ass. Stick up your ass. <laughs> Ter terrible, um, terrible karaoke night. <laughs> just fucking... Oh my god. Holy shit, and fuck. Ah, oh, I love this guy. Aww. I'm sorry, Bob. She hated you because she saw you as competition. I was about to say that. <laughs> some, some, fuck. God damn it! I got like fucking softlocked again and killed. Fuck me, dude. Don't have like movement mechanics if I can get stuck on a railing. The fuck, dude. Yeah, it's stone cold, fricked up, man. It genuinely is infuriating. It's like you got guys spraying you. You're, you can sprint really fast and like fucking zip around, um, but. You're, you're gonna get like caught up. You're, you're snagged. <laughs> snagged. It's snagged, baby boy. <laughs> I wonder what Dad to Boy is up to right now. Um, I saw him today. Oh shit. He, uh, I think he's just kind of sweating bullets. I think he realized uh, he's kind of he's kind of in trouble. Uh oh. Because he like came in late to the class that he has with the girl he's kind of harassing. Hopefully not anymore, because he's just going to get himself in more trouble. Um, see, the em the empath in me, like, genuinely feels kind of bad, because he's clearly, like, a little socially uh, whack. Maybe on the spectrum, I don't know. But he's just trying to, like, shoot his shot, but he's doing it in, like, the worst way, where he's, like, overly logical with where it's like, well, we have canvas, that is an easy way to do it. Um, yeah. But it she wouldn't excuse... give me her number, so I could use canvas. It doesn't excuse the fact that he got, like, psychotic about it, though, about her being, like, no thanks. Yeah. And that's where I don't have empathy, is it's like, dude, if she says uh, I'm not interested, then she's not interested. It's no fault of hers, it's just move on buddy yeah cut your nurses well 
What would you do if, like, I was a little dog and I was, like, humping your leg? That's a question for Bob. Whatever. So, what did you guys do? A Freddy Fazbear showed up, right? Yeah. Like, I was, like, groaning in pain. I thought you started making that noise. <laughs> like, ugh, ugh. <laughs> I was like, oh. Oh, man. So, don't you think it's an inappropriate question to ask Bobby? That's very shy and that's super tough growing up. I just did not comply with a lot of their bullshit and bullying. That's awesome. Bob, I'm really proud of you, Bobby. You're so swagged up. Bob, you and I are, like, meant for each other. You were like me growing up, for real, for real. Actually, my name is Bob. My name is Bob. You know what? You're gonna make fun of me. I think I'm just gonna leave. Yeah. Unless I'm making fun of you, and you're not allowed to leave. It's in your see, contract. That's my problem with like the church, Bobby. And I wish Robert was here to see that. Is it attracts like shitty people? It really does. Yeah, shitty power tripping pastors that have hey. retarded little sons named Robbie. Honestly, a little prick. <laughs> I really hope he is still here. <laughs> I can't believe we almost got all this fucking dirt done tonight. That's insane. Yeah. Like, like actually, like quick, quick zoom out. Um, all of this, and five more whoppers, and all of this. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good for little, 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 little. Bleh. Um, Brett, I don't know who Robert is. He's like a guy who was just in stream. Come on, such a clunky fucking area. There's like spots you need to vault over, but you can like bump your head and it stops you from like successfully vaulting. And there's a railing that you can't climb up because it's like slightly the wrong height for you to, for the game to acknowledge it as a vaultable item. That shit pisses me the fuck off. That's, yeah, that's really annoying. What a... God damn it, what a horrible fucking... De fuck off! What a horribly designed area. What the fuck? We're gonna corral you into this one spot that you have to climb up, but everybody in the area can shoot you like crazy as you're trying to climb up it. What the fucking... What kind of fucking design is that, dude? <laughs> Good design. Um, One of the people who works with a cat volunteer left us like a bad review and it's like fucking insane really? yeah my, my boss uh called her this morning and banned her from the store and said if she ever comes back we're calling the cops on her <laughs> um because this like cunty she left a review with um our internal review service so it just goes straight to corporate um but she was like people don't even greet me when i come in um and the entire staff is just hanging out at the front, chit-chatting about their lives. It's like, okay, first of all, um, you're not a customer. You're technically our coworker. You're here for the cat volunteers. Wait, supposed the, to take... the, the, the cat volunteers did that? Yes. Oh, I thought someone left a review about the cat volunteers, about, and it was she thought they were you guys. No, no, the volunteer left a bad review. What the fuck? Yes. Um... Uh, we say hi to you. Well, but she's like, she's like, so on Monday she came in and we were, we were, um, fucking, uh, just doing like uh, expiring stuff. So we were just like bringing bags back and forth. Um, and all this shit. And I guess we were like in her way, but it's also like, it's, Hey, it's our store. Fuck you. Um, like I'm not intentionally in your way. I just have to be here. Cause this has to be done. And she's just, like, glaring at us all night. And this woman's, like, always unpleasant to deal with. Oh, um, um, Yeah, and then she comes in on Tuesday again. And then she tries to buy something. She tries to buy, like, a bird seed. And it's buy one, get one free, and we only have one on the shelf. And I'm like, hey, I can give you your next one free next time you come in as a rain check. Or I can give you 50% off this one now and 50% off the next one you buy. And she's like, you can't just give me this one for free and I don't have to buy the other one. And I'm like, no. I, I can't do that. 
<laughs> like what? Oh, isn't it buy one get? Yeah, it's buy one get one, right? Yeah, it's buy one get one. So you give me, she just give them it for free. Yeah, she she just wanted the she just wanted to get one. She didn't want the buy one. Oh, I thought she said, "Can you give me this one for free?" And then I don't have to buy it. Yeah. She didn't want to come back for another one. Um, uh, or even if she did, I'm not going to do that. Um, I'll give her her next one free, or I'll give her 50% off this one. Um, which I think is relatively, you know, fucking whatever. Um, also, if it was one of the nicer volunteers, I would have given it to her for free anyway. But this woman's yeah. always a giant bitch and has complained several times already. Um, about insane shit, she's like, the store is always dirty, but also she'll leave the cat litter that she scoops on, like, in a bag on the floor and won't throw it Ew. out. Um, or she'll rinse out the cat bowls in the bathroom sink and it clogs the sink and I have to clean cat food out of the sink back there. That's fucked up. Yes. What a, like, actual worthless bitch. Yes, I hate this woman. I hate this woman so much. Did you get banned, though? Yes, I'm so glad that oh, we banned God. her. Um, but yeah... So I, I had to come up and like authorize giving her fifty percent off um the one that time. Um and instead of being like, Oh yeah, thanks, she was just like took you long enough. Um But yeah, so she comes and just complains that we're like chit chatting about our lives. It's like she's coming in at seven forty five. We close at nine, everything's done already. God forbid we're having a decent time. It's not like we're ignoring her. Um, which we kind of are, cause she's like a giant, giant bitch, but if she needs anything, we'll like gladly help her. I think she's genuinely just bitter about not being included in like our conversation. I was gonna say that, totally. Um, it literally like fucking insane though. Imagine, cause she, okay, she's tech, she's our coworker essentially. She's not a customer. Like she's a lady yeah. that we work with. Sounds like a child, dude. Yeah, it, it made me I so mad. I, I like... I avoided reading it for, like, my first hour of my shift, like, just because I knew it would, like, get me fucking heated. <laughs> and I'm like, alright, I'm gonna log on and read this review, because all my, um, all my other coworkers were talking about it. Like, you gotta see what this bitch wrote. Um, it's, rid I it's just, ridiculous. What, like, a loser woman, honestly. Yeah. I hate that old, like, how old is she? Like, 60-some. Yeah, that makes old. sense. I hate that old, like, boomer mentality where it's, like, no fun at work. No relaxation at work. Wow, you're sitting. I, yeah, I wish yeah. they would let me sit down when I worked. And it's like, I hope you die. Yeah. Uh, I, I actually um, hope you die. I'm doing this job, you know, back then when I had someone say that, like, oh, must, you know, must be nice sitting. I do this job for $11 an hour. I'm going to sit. You're not paying me enough for me to stand up all day. Honestly, fuck you. Yeah. $11 um, an hour is fucking dirt. <laughs> fuck off. Um, yeah, it's fucking nuts. And then her other, her other thing, which I knew, um, she wrote this, uh, fucking comment specifically because of the bird food, but she's like, and your staff has no idea what's on sale. Um, these young, these, this, these younger employees you have need to be seriously coached. Crash, are you, um, are you just not saying anything or do you know? I didn't you want to interrupt. Oh, okay, oh. I thought your mic was muted. I'm like, oh man. When did you join? Hi, right, what's up, buddy? I said, hey, break oh. network. Oh, oh. I didn't... oh, hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, I didn't want to interrupt. But no, it's all good. Well, what happened? Oh, nothing. Oh, this uh... fucking asshole interrupted us. <laughs> uh, <laughs> in reference to, to my <laughs> insane story. Sure. Yeah. All right. Yes. I'll give you the the Spark Notes version. <laughs> At my yes. job, uh, we have cats that come in, uh, rescue cats. That we have okay. to... They're taken care of by volunteers through an outside organization. One of the volunteers left an insane bad review against us, talking as if they were, like, a customer, but they're technically, like, our coworker. And they were like, staff doesn't even uh, give enough of a crap to greet you when you come in anymore. Um, they stand around chit-chatting about their lives instead of doing any actual work. Like, all this other insane shit. And, and she's literally, she's not a customer. She's like somebody we work with, and she's just like a bitter old hag. Anyway. Uh, Would that's... you describe her as a witch who is capable of black arts? <laughs> I, 
<laughs> I would. You're like a, a you're like you're like a witch hunter. You're dressed like crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're just uh, you have your detective you. notepad out. <laughs> like, There's like crows following you. You have that like crazy witch hunter hat and like black round spectacles. <laughs> a witch that can cast spells. <laughs> and any size of spellcraft. <laughs> um So 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 beta fish. Yeah. Yes. 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 How's yes. your how's your how's your journey going? Uh, I'm still educating. Um, get some ally fish. Real. Um, I've been watching beta fish content. Beta fish content, and but beta fish content in black films, um, such as this. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I so what I my goal is to beta fish, shrimp, snail two, snail Fuck or yeah. two. Yeah, uh, and then a some sort of plants. I like to grow moss, mm -hmm. and I like to grow just some kind of maybe a green, and then like a little one of the red plants. I don't know what they're called. I forget what they're called, but um, do one of those, and then and then be satisfied. Yes, uh, that's an excellent and easy tank setup. Um, would it be at all destructive to put? Not an artificial plant or like wood in it or all, but like an artificial like fucking like scuba head gear. Like you, like you, you can uh, put a decoration or two in there. Okay. Um, yeah, it wouldn't it wouldn't be a big deal. Uh, even some of my tanks do. I like to put like natural like stone stuff in there. I really hate putting like plastic shit in. Um, yeah. I, or like you know a little metal little can metal I put thing. Artificial water but, in there. <laughs> but um, that's just like my personal insane opinion. Um. I don't think it makes much of a difference. Bobby, do you think your mom would... I don't think your mom would love me, Bobby. I think your mom would think I'm a hooligan. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like Bob's mom wouldn't... Uh, wouldn't like Who? us. Everlasting Bob's, mom. Bob's mom. mom. Everlasting Robert. Oh, are you streaming? Yeah, we're live yeah. right now. Oh, Christ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I'm glad he didn't come in here and say my normal slurs. <laughs> Thankfully. Then we'd be on the news. I did kind of do that, didn't I? I came in here and started streaming a movie. Why? Well, I, I, <laughs> I, I didn't uh, join it or anything, but... Yeah. Okay, one thing that I find hilarious about this fucking writing is this guy, this guy's friend died and he's like, A life. All the shit they've gone through. All they've felt god in a moment it's like dude you just got done killing about a hundred <laughs> bad guys like mercilessly like cutting their legs off with a hatchet and slashing you can be like oh i killed nazis but like they're still human beings that you like ravishly murdered cancelled for saying nazis are human beings so true she'd probably like you if you're polite i am very polite bobby i'm told i'm very very polite no he's not dude he did I horrible am. things to like my mom yeah, I, I fucking, I was like, ah. Oh. Yeah, like, but she was a huge pain. Like, yeah, squeeze. Yeah, she was asking for it. Yeah. Is see what she was wearing? <laughs> yeah, how can you dress like that and not expect to get your uh, flesh yeah, ripped Get what's coming to you. <laughs> get what's coming to you, get what you fucking deserve. Fowboy failed out of Harvard. Yeah. Yeah, but he made it to it first, which is more than most people can say. Got him. Wyatt. Wyatt. Aw. Aw, that's awesome. I would I would get along with your mom so much. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> Ending the stream. We would stream right now. Bob's mom would um Bob's mom would get along super well with Fowl, and then I would stand there and get really sad and just mope off and, and sit under sit under a tree um, <laughs> until somebody notices and they come out and say, what's wrong? And be like, oh, I can't fit in. Aww. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Bobby's mom would like me. We would watch silly movies together. It's so adorable. You should, they should, you should date. Yeah, Bob, is your mom available? 
foul. She'd probably like me, but she'd love foul. I just can't fit in. Oh my god, he <laughs> does it. Damn. Uh, well, she shouldn't have led me on like that. <laughs> <laughs> War is saying war, she man. likes sci-fi movies, so I should totally lead me on. <laughs> war is war, my friend. Musky. Musky! Musky! <laughs> Musky! <laughs> what game are you playing, Connor? <laughs> if any? What are you, like, doing? He's, like, hallucinating. He's not doing anything. No, he's playing, uh, like, Wolfenstein 2. Okay. I'm placing dirt. I see. I've got your stream out. Oh, I've placed... There's probably going to be a crazy delay. But everything I'm placing currently, I've placed tonight. Um, this giant patch and this giant patch over here. Oh my god. Yeah. Are you but... close at all to 10 million? Which I no. Didn't... It's not about the number, it's about getting the terrain finished. The number probably we're not going to get to. Um, but it's, it's like a... You should have a counter somehow. Huh? You should have a counter somehow. I mean, I have a... I check my statistics every once in a while. But I should have a counter. Um, but also, sometimes I break dirt, sometimes I replace it. Mm. Um, but yeah, I finished, uh, finished the layer over here I was doing last time. Um, so now, like, this entire thing is two layers tall. Mm. Out of a total of, uh, an approximate 170. But they get very small very quick. And I, th I think I could genuinely finish all of this in, like, the next two months. But it, does it doesn't look that way. But as soon as this little corner thing is done... Um, and we're like five, five layers in. I'm going to be doing like one layer every day. It's going to be nuts. It's going to be crazy pants even. It will be. It will. Bob, why do I remind you of that? Also, hi, Bob. Hello, Bob. I love everlasting Bob. Hello, Bobby. It's me, Joseph Mengels. <laughs> I'm fucking evil. <laughs> I'm evil. <laughs> I love cookie. <laughs> I love cookie. Oh, man. Ugh, is this a base with various stations? I hate this. I don't want a base with various stations. Everyone's a critic. <laughs> sad, and you sound like sad. <laughs> um. So, what kind of beta fish were you thinking of getting? I don't know. Um. It. I'll tell you right now, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's just like a whatever you like. But I was unpacking some that I ordered. I really like mustard gas. Oh. Uh, um, oh. They're a pretty cool pattern. Um, Super deltas are very cool. Um, I ordered an alien one. It looks weird, but it's uh, also very neat. It's the first time I ever saw one, but they're super fucking cool. Very expensive, though. It's like a $35 beta fish. Um... I mean, I guess it depends um, if you're going to like a like a high end beta fish dealer, um, but for like average store type deal. Yeah, I'm going, I'm really shopping at like an average store. I don't know where around me I can like get. Ah. Um. But yeah, um, Alien was pretty cool. Hmm. Um. I really didn't know that there were other. I really didn't know that there were other like colors or kinds. I guess oh, there's say. there's so many. There's half moons. There's twin tails. There's crown tails. There's fucking any combination of those. There's like twin tail half moons. Um, there's dragon scale. There's 
there's so many different ones. Um, there's like literally hundreds of different patterns. Um, mm. But yeah, um, super neat. I would look up the uh, the alien like alien beta fish. They're fucking sick. Mm. I don't know. I don't know if they're new. I've never seen them on our um, from our distributor before, but they're they're pretty neat. Yeah. But. I think all-time favorite, I like the mustard gas, because they're, like, usually a dark body with, like, a bright yellow tail. Pretty cool. Yeah. Is it the more um, powerful they are, is that the more expensive they are, typically? Um, sometimes. Uh, it's also, like, just the popularity of certain breeds. Like... Okay. Um... I think the aliens, because the alien is expensive because he has a wacky pattern, not so much the coloration. Um, mm -hmm. Like, the one that we got is, like, a crazy color, thankfully. He's, like, a, a gradient of, like, yellow to blue and, like, a bunch of other weird colors. He's, like, he's crazy. I'll take pictures of him. Um, mm. But it's mostly, um, like, their, their odd fin pattern um, that they have going on. Um, mm -hmm. The Super Deltas have, like, a really big flared uh, fin. Um... But one ones like the mustard gas are their colors the main thing. Twin tail obviously mm -hmm. for the tail. Dragon scale, um, they're kind of a not really their pattern. Um, I guess I guess it is, but their scales are more visible. They have like a like literally look like dragon scale look to them. Um, cool. As opposed to like normal, just like oh it's a fish. Um, so you can see like black outlining their. Um, some of their scales, or sometimes they don't. It's like technically the same breed, and it's they just. Are they just like common in the wild? Huh? Are they just like common in the wild? I don't think I've ever like seen one. So they're from Southeast Asia, I think like Vietnam and shit, and they live in like tiny puddles that like flood, and that's why they're really aggressive with each other is because there's just not enough room, so they'll have right. their own little puddle and they'll just fight to the death in it, and then when the flood, when the rains come again, they go, they breed. And then they, they do their shit, and then the cycle continues. Yeah, I was going to put, like, three of them in a tank and see whichever one is, like, the best. Oh, my God. Like, that's all right. And should... put in, like, four goldfish. <laughs> yeah, everything. Get your fish bowl with nothing and put in ten goldfish. Mm-hmm. I guess he's so fucked up. Um, it, actually, it actually gets me so mad. Because um, they'll be, like... Like, I don't care to do all that. It's just a fish. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I'm like, what if you do that to a dog? Um, yeah. Not that it's like, you know, I obviously, I obviously see that the, uh, there is a difference between the fish mm -hmm. and the dog. <clears throat> but it's, it, it, there shouldn't be an active negligence just because one's a fish. Yes. It's... Like, I, I kind of get the parents who are like, I don't really want the responsibility or key of keeping this, nor do I want the cost. This is like a fish we want at the, the fucking carnival. <laughs> right. Um, just do whatever. But there's people who come in, um, like, every week and like, oh, my fish died again. It's like, oh, what do you have them in? It's like, I have them in a half-gallon tank. I'm like, all right, there you go. And they just come in and just fucking buy new fish. It's ridiculous. Asians do it a lot, um, which is funny. But they're insane, and they kind of pull it off, where they're like, here's my 180-gallon tank, but it is filled to the brim with fish. <laughs> it's, like, fucking nuts. It's, like, insane shit. Um, there's this one, like, eccentric Chinese dude I love at my store, and he always has some new, like, crazy pet. He's just, like, an insane guy. That's funny. Okay. I, well, I don't know. I don't know. Um, how people. It, it's like they come back and you you had said how they like yell at you. Yes. For like their fish dying, and yep. then it's like, well, here's what you do, and it's like, well, you're just trying to sell me something. Yes, it's it's so fucked. Um, they'll be like, I don't want to buy that. I just want, like, a fish that won't die. And then it's like, hey, you can't keep a fish in a tank this small. Maybe a beta, but that probably won't work. 
Um, but here's everything you could keep in a tank in this small. You could have shrimp or snails or other kind of shrimp. And they're like, that's stupid and boring. <laughs> Get me another wanna... fish. Um, it's, it's whack. Um, yeah, I mean, beta, beta fish live in... I mean, they're good with a bowl, right? Or am I... Yes, they're good in very small, uh, like, enclosures. Okay. Um, they're super hardy as well. You can't really mess up a beta fish. But the uh, insane people online would have you uh, disagree... Yeah, they would. That. Um, they're pretty fucking nuts. And that's one of the reasons I kind of got... I, I, like, distanced myself from the the hobby. Especially with fish stuff. Like, most reptile people are still kind of cool. But fish people are, are fucking nuts. Because at the end of the day, everything's an opinion. Um, but they, they're like, hey, if you don't... If you don't do your water change exactly like this, you're killing your tank. <laughs> and it's that, like... That's one, it's like... I saw a thing for like my beta fish to like a beta fish that this guy said to do a water change like daily. That's a bit much and oh, arguably for, bad for their bacterial microbiome. For like a week and I, I'm like, I, there's no way that that's like feasible. Um, Otherwise people wouldn't like get it. Like, I mean, maybe... you, you could do it and it would be good, but what the fuck? It's, it's fine. <laughs> So I just feel I just feel like that's just a, like a lot for me to. I I feel like like fish have survived not getting their fucking yes. tanks changed daily for a week. Yes, I think fish deserve the abuse. Probably oh, um, really. Uh, I think fish are past sinners put on this earth. <laughs> anyway, so. Um, Bobby, putting a beta in a 20-gallon tank is, uh, usually fine if they have, like, shit to hide in. If it's, like, an empty tank and they don't have anywhere to go, they would get pretty stressed. Um, but typically they don't care. Um. Because that's why it's good, it's good to have those, like, decorations or whatever and all in it. Or wood and stuff like that so they can hide. Yeah. And they, okay. Um, if they I... Like, at home. I like to do like all plants though, um, but you know it's all it, it it don't matter. You want decorations? It's yo tank or, or stuff or something like that. I'm not I'm not gonna say one, dude. Maybe I'll do like one small like fucking thing in it, but yeah. Um, like I I had I had goofy stuff in my tanks. Um, oh my god, it's Ohas Talwar. What's up, buddy? Little fella, how are you? Hey, hey, how's it going? Holy shit, it's Chungle! Chungle's been here. Yeah, I've been, I've just been quiet. I was listening to your beta story. Oh. Beta, like, fish story. Chungle rant, I guess, not really a story. Hi, Chungle, yeah. how's it going, bud? Hey, I just woke up and I drank, like, five glasses of water. That's what, that's, what, that's what it's all about. That's what it's literally all about. Um, this is not about anything else. Uh, Chungle, I would like for you and, uh, Crash here to briefly discuss the Nostalgia Critic films. Oh my god. Uh, Chungle loves them and keeps insisting that they're excellent. I, I, I don't think they are, they're like, well, cinema, like, great. I think they're just fun to watch. Like, Kikassia at least. Um, freaking Suburban Nights is pretty fun also. Like, no, I... No, go ahead. <laughs> I, I, for me, that I agree, I can agree with you to an extent because I was one of those people that like felt that they were like fun to watch. At least I never felt that Boldly Flea was any good. How do you feel about Boldly Flea? Oh, I haven't watched it. I was gonna watch it with them, but they never wanted to. I will get around to it. It's just so uh, those my brother movies. In Christ, it's four hours long. That good. Movie. God damn it! 
it's it's three and a half, okay? It's it's it, it is that that movie is unwatchable. Uh, <laughs> see, my problem with them is, yeah, they're cringe and they're kind of fun to point and laugh at, but it wears off very fast. And those movies, like, I feel like every time somebody watches those movies, it sucks a piece of their soul out and feeds it directly to like Doug and Rob, <laughs> and it's like, like like a vampiric like mind drain. That's that's um, how their channel's still up. Yeah, it. <laughs> It really, it takes a lot out of me. Yeah, it's powered through souls. One of the... Huh? Bob's message to Jungle. Things that really... (laughs) Bob like, Jungle, we hate you! (laughs) They all hate me, dude. I hate them. Because they're mean to me, Jungle. Everybody on the servers hated me for years. You'll get used to it. (laughs) They all adore me. Yeah, uh, yeah Crash, because... you're, like, you're like 15 and have 27 kids, okay? That's real. That's so true. <laughs> true facts. I am literally 15 years old and have like, I actually have 19 kids. Oh, oh sorry, it's a bit off. I can't, I can't name them all. <laughs> it's because I send, <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know all of them. Uh, it's because I send Fowl's audience uh, tasteful nudes. It is, that's, that's the reason. reason. And so and they, I they can't them. resist. Yes, I and I, I pay them to laugh. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> it's pretty awful, honestly. <laughs> I wish I was paid to laugh. I pay them not to report me. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> it, it, the, yeah, problem is, my the problem is trouble is that um once you know, like, the background of those movies, and did you read the document? No. The not-so-awesome document? Did you read no, the haven't. unsealed CIA document? <laughs> <laughs> it, it really is basically that. Is is if Once you learn the behind-the-scenes things, and you kind of, like, figure out who Doug Walker, like, kind of really is, um... And how the whole operation went, it's far less enjoyable. Because oh, I would agree with you if if I felt that everyone on those sets had like a good time. Yeah, no, I know Kagazi was like insane to report. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know about uh, Suburban Nights. Probably was the same. It, it was. I think they worse. get worse. Yeah. It it, it 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 just got literally worse. It, it, with cultivating with it boldly flee, which was like the end. And and it's like, why the fuck did they make this? Look, if they had Elvis bowling ball there, then um, honestly, none of none of this would have gone down the yeah, way. Yeah, that's uh, real uh, honestly. That's true. <laughs> Elvis bowling ball could have saved the fucking movie. Have. She'd be like, thanks much. Uh, yeah, it'd be the thank you. <laughs> thanks plenty. Uh, in in the end, all I kind of see anymore is what used to be like something that's like super cool and fun and like funny. Uh, just people kind of getting together is just now just a bunch of neurodivergent people running through the woods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I could not have put it better myself. Uh, I, I love Elvis bowling ball. I love him too. I'm we so, need to I make some Elvis him. bowling ball merch. <laughs> I need to. I need to buy an Elvis bowling ball. Let me, me see too. if eBay has one because I doubt that listing is still up on Facebook. What is Elvis bowling ball? <laughs> it's a bowling ball uh, with like Elvis's face on it. It's, it's so fucking it's funny. It's hilarious. Yeah, it is exactly what you're imagining I'll, too. I'll, I'll I'll this is crazy. This is, <laughs> oh, I, I see. I see what it is. See the bowling ball. Yeah, I do see the bowling. Ball. I'll send it to you again just to make sure. <laughs> Yes, please, please do. Uh, yes, there it is. Yes, <laughs> and I, I do think that that's outstanding. I like it because it's Elvis's face, and then he's got some holes to stick your fingers in. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you really need. Yep. It, it really is like this crazy <laughs> thing he's trapped inside. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's actually the price they have for this bowling ball is actually pretty reasonable. Release him. Um, because the only one I can find on eBay, they want three hundred dollars for it. Oh, yeah, the one at Etsy is three hundred as well. Yeah. Um, so it's actually like like an Elvis. It's it's a pretty good price for what it is. 
Is it like anything special or just like a printed it's, face of Elvis? It's, it's Elvis's face on a bowling ball. <laughs> Why is that expensive? <laughs> small because price to like pay a, it's for like a, Elvis it's, bowling ball. It's, it's a small price to pay for greatness. Um, because <laughs> it's like a collectible for like bowling, for like bowl heads. <laughs> Elvis, these fucking Elvis bowl heads <laughs> ruining the, the, the bowling ball aftermarket. Looks like kid used to go to Sunday school. I love Elvis, even if he was kind of a cokehead um, and a disgusting, fat piece of shit. Um, <laughs> he well, he seemed pretty cool. I liked him. He's like this chunky little guy. He's like, hello, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> he did do that. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> that's, that's famous a... catchphrase. <laughs> like my like famous catchphrase. <laughs> hello, love you. Hello, much. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> that's autistic. <laughs> like, like the friendly kind of like autism. Yeah. Welcome to Costco. We love you. <laughs> we love you. Uh, I love you. I'm obsessed with your grandma, Bobby. Bob, is she available? Emotionally? Does she have what I'm looking for, and do I have what she needs? Well, what she needs is Elvis bowling ball. I can procure that for $140. <laughs> Small price to pay for grandma's uh, infamy. <laughs> Her infamy? Yeah. Yes, actually. Infamous everlasting god. Who the fuck is Priscilla Presley? Sounds like uh, Frankenstein's wife. Priscilla Presley is his <laughs> daughter, isn't it? Oh, good. You're right, it does. <laughs> this sounds like Frankenstein's wife. <laughs> <laughs> That in like like a serious fashion. Dude, that's like Frankenstein's wife, yeah. homeless lesbian. Yeah. <coughs> I feel like if Bob right. was in an action movie, she would have a machine gun for a leg. I I think so too. And she'd be like, say hello to my leg machine gun. My leg tool friend. Say hello to my diabetic friend. Oh. Hi. Is that Hi. Hi. Oh shit, my insulin and such. Oh, Brett Ruben Eric. Mm -hmm. huh. Diabetic ambassador. I met with the fucking state senator to talk about diabetes. That was so fucking annoying. I don't like, recall genuinely. that. I don't remember. You don't. No. Oh my god, she made him like his little like di literally like a little diabetic ambassador. <laughs> a young boy with diabetes gives like talk and and meets with like the fucking senator whatever congress oh. like and it was it was just like what are you even fucking talking about? Oh my god, the, uh, the war's getting bad. We got to pull our diabetic ambassadors. <laughs> we got to bring them back. How old was he when she was 14? I'm gonna assume he was like probably a, a grown adult. Yeah, he's probably 70. I, that was apparently pretty common back then. It's just yeah. like. Well, it's common among basketball players now. Really? Yeah, dude. No, it's not. You just hate basketball. No, I, I'm actually. I'm not even fucking around. There's like a huge thing of um, a lot of these athletes that like knock up like 13 year olds. Years old. <laughs> a million. Million. <laughs> Elvis. Come on. <laughs> You can't find a nice gal that's seven. You can't find a nice gal that's seven hundred fifty thousand years old. <laughs> At least seven hundred fifty thousand years old. That's still young. No. He's like the lich. Yes. No. Bob, I need you to give me a real fucking answer now. How old was he? You could just Google that. I'm playing Wolfenstein. I'm dual wielding machine guns. Okay, Google. How did the long ago Wolfenstein so good, dude? All right, I'm playing Wolfenstein. Gentlemen, too. sadly, I must retire. I've reached that age. What's wrong with you? Yeah. I think a lot of things are wrong with them. 
I think he's the most he's... normal out of all of us. Quite That's frankly. true, actually. Except for that weird giant microchip under his skin. Yeah, it's... I think it's like a bug. I I thought so too, but there, I can I can literally see like the light like illuminating under the skin. No, like like a microphone bug, like a. Oh. oh. He's, yeah. I don't know. Like it's a it's a listening device. It's like a really big <laughs> it, 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 it inconveniently placed one. It's like, are you wearing a wire? No. Lift up your shirt. You lift it up. You can see like this disgusting, <laughs> like a microphone implanted under his skin. Of your shirt, he has his like boner tucked into his waistband. <laughs> and he's, he's really because you made him lift up his shirt. Oh my! God. Dude, it reminded me of the, our, um, our stupid gangster skit. Oh my god! <laughs> he like lifts it up to reveal a gun, but it's it's like boner tucked into his waistband. Oh my god! It's such a funny fucking. It's fucking whack. We have to start making some of these. It'd be so it's fucking better, ridiculous. Brother. Uh, do you know that, um... Alright, have a good night, gentlemen. Uh, have a good one. Light crash. Yeah. Light crash. Get him out of here. Um, who was 24. asking a question? Oh, god. Uh, uh, do you know that old trope in, like, mo horror movies where, like, a kid is like, I'm not scared of you anymore? Yeah. I yeah. hate that crap. I'm not scared of you anymore! Yeah, and then, like, I'm the freaking... And, like, the monster, like, goes away or something. Like, yeah. in, um... There's this movie where uh, a portal to hell opens up like the middle of his house, and it's like the same thing. Like enough. Um, that's yeah. the plot of the insane clown posse song "Shimmer." From really? Fearless, yeah, sure Fearless, uh, Fearless Fred Fury. I know. Right. Um, I, but I, instead, I it's it's like... about like more more religiousy than it is just about not being afraid. Um, it's about like taking the um the courageous step of putting like believing in god rather than just being like a, not scared of a monster bobby how old are you are you 14 bobby is yeah bobby are you 14 yeah sounds, like something, 14. sounds like something a 14 year old would say if bob's 14 i'm 14. Uh, it's, it's okay sure man <laughs> uh, maybe poor choice of words <laughs> Perhaps pork fried rice I shall have. Okay. Black face paint. I just got black face paint in this game. What game are you playing? Oh, uh, I'm playing EverQuest. Black oh. game. Why do oh, I have... Why do I have scary DMs? Is like, it from me? Jungle messaging no? me? And then... Oh, it's Bob messaging me. Hi, Bob. I love when Why you message me. Nobody messages me. I hate it yeah, here. He hates that I message him. Everybody, he's so mean. Everybody fucking hates me. Bob, it makes me so happy when you message me. Yeah, he doesn't care about anyone makes else. Me, first, Bob. Makes me sad when you message him. <laughs> Robert, I'm gonna go to Robert. Whoa, these trucks are so cool. Oh my god, what? These things are fucking stupid. They're like, actually are they cool ridiculous. or stupid? Where it's like stupidly cool. It's like these big giant oh. dumbass trucks. It's not the only thing around here. It's a big giant dumbass. No, it's like two stories tall. It's like this crazy right. armored truck. <laughs> That's funny. Um. Hey guys, if you haven't voted on the the, the poll, please do it. I know they waited for the the poll to add a new Discord chat. Oh, I didn't vote on that. Yeah, you did vote on that. Did I? Where did I vote? Oh, I said I voted that one for Chungle. Yeah. But also, you could vote multiple. You could pick any of those. I can't. Huh? I, I can't. Yes, you can. I John clicked on one. I can't. Multiple multiple people have already voted multiple. I, it's such a multiple answer. I'm on Chungle, and I can't click any other one. Maybe click edit vote. I can remove vote. Yeah, remove Spider. vote, and then put click all the ones that you want, and then you can... Oh, that's... Sh okay. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, make sure you vote. I want to do one of these every week, so it's like every week you get like a new little thing. But also, I have to keep up with streaming, and streaming more popular things to get more people in. Because I don't want chats to outnumber people. Um, Quick, guys. Let's run away from jungle. <laughs> Everybody, let's run away from jungle! Hey, Chungle, we're going to play hide and seek. Um, I need you to count for 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes? Yeah. I need you to go home and count. Yeah, go home and count, and then when you come back, you can try to find us. <laughs> That's so mean. Truth or dare. 
I dare you to go home. That's so sad. <laughs> That's That's so I would sad. actually like cry like crazy. I, I I don't even know what I would do. I would just be like, I would probably go home because I'm a pushover, and then I just like sit there sad. Have you ever been kicked out of a like sleepover or something? Yes. Wow. How? What were you? We were being too loud. It was at somebody's like birthday. Oh. Yeah. Um. And we weren't. We were like. I think I just ended up like I want my mom to come get me. Um. But they were they were like we were being loud and the parents were yelling at us and the parents started yelling at each other. <laughs> it's like what the fuck. I, I can't stand dysfunctional parents that can't just like keep their shit together for five minutes for like guests. Yeah. Like, come on, you can't just like shut up. Yeah, well, the one thing was, it was just like the dad getting like fucking pissed. Because the dad's like, I got work in the morning. These fucking kids won't shut up. Or, like, whatever. Um, and then she was like, no, she's like, can we just send them all home? Um, maybe it's um, my, um, <laughs> Uh, traumatic upbringing. My Sharona. But I'm. Yeah, fuck you. But... <laughs> what the fuck? I don't want. What the fuck? What'd you say? You said my Sharona. Oh, uh, you said my trauma. <laughs> no, <laughs> me alone. No, I said my Sharona. My, 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 my Sharona. Yeah. My, was... my, my. Yeah, oh, that Jesus was... Christ, I'm being attacked by an alligator. That's what I get. <laughs> my, my trauma. You shouldn't have done that. Which one are you playing? Play? Just the first one? No, the Second one where you get attacked baby. by alligator boxing glove. Um, but maybe I'm just good at kind of tuning things out and going to bed. Um, but just grow the fuck up. No. Yeah. I don't know, I just hate adults that want to, like, trample on the, uh, joy of children. I want to trample on the joy of adults. Mm. God damn. Remember when Santa Claus was fucking you shit up every year? You guys, anybody here remember that? Does anybody else want this microphone? <laughs> <laughs> Biggest stand up guy. Yeah, exactly. This <laughs> is really good. Thank you. I'll be here all over here. Uh, I love that. Thank you very much. Sorry. I love, I love that, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Gypsy looking into a crystal. Um, scary Gypsy lady looking into a crystal ball, and then I the camera, Gypsies. camera flips to reveal that she's actually looking into Elvis bowling ball. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many funny things we could do with Elvis <laughs> bowling ball, dude. Buy him. A hundred and forty dollar. Saving a hundred sixty. But if it wasn't this time of year, what's this time of year? May the fourth is upcoming. Uh, that's right. Yeah, I gotta buy my giant Lego haul. Never see all this ball again. We'll find. We'll find another. Don't Who knows? There could be a potentially funnier ball. I don't think there's anything funnier than all this ball. Hitler ball. They wouldn't make that. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we could make that. Uh, <laughs> Commemorative Hitler um, bully ball. <laughs> that would be such a funny fucking skit, too. Where it's like everybody's showing off their custom bowling balls, and this guy whips one out, and one's just like a red bowling ball with like a giant swastika, and the other's like Hitler's. <laughs> Hitler, Hitler's missing ball. Um, I think also... that was, that's such a lie. Yeah. Oh, Hitler had one testicle. Like, come on, bro. That's such, like, like allied um, propaganda. Osama Bin Laden bowling ball. <laughs> He's like, oh, what's these all about? Oh, you know, the greats. It's, it's good but for... But he throws in a little curveball, like, like a fucking, like, Reagan bowling ball as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna make the joke ball. that it's, it's good at uh, spares. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, thank you, Jungle. Thank you, Jungle. Yeah, it's low, low hanging fruit, but it's okay to be made. Because that's when the, there's, there's like two pins left up. Yeah. 
So it's like the, you know, the, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nine eleven. Nine eleven. Dude, walking just. <laughs> Sorry, I uh, thought that was funny. It was funny, Tumble. Um, some yeah, some like mom was talking about her like autistic kids uh infatuation with like World War Two, and she was talking about how the school was like, hey, maybe get him to something else. Um. And also about the mild trouble it caused when his hyperfixation changed to 9/11 for a little bit, <laughs> um, and he just wouldn't stop telling kids about 9/11. That's fucking. That's it. That's fantastic. Yeah. It's how, like old, how old? How old is this kid? Like, like elementary school. That is. Oh. Fucking hilarious, right? Oh man, was it you? No, I wish. I wish that was me. That's fantastic. That kid's fucking smart and funny. It's good to age. Telling kids about 9 11. That's so fucking funny. Yeah, it's hilarious. Like, I just imagine the phone call, like, hey, little like Brandon, uh, you know, he's great to me, but it's, it's the 9 11 stuff. Can we. Can okay, we... maybe tune, tune it back on the 9 11. Are you telling him this stuff? Is he going out to learn it? <laughs> it's, I feel bad because he probably just likes. Like, uh, oh, yeah, he's, uh, like genuinely, because it was a post about like, uh, like spectrum hyperfixations, and it's like he, he's like genuinely on the spectrum, um, yeah, and he just gets like hyperfixated on this stuff, and uh, I just think it's hilarious because she was like, and I think this is kind of lame, where uh, he wanted like a World War II themed birthday party, and she's like, ah, no, I'm not doing that, um, yeah, but just. Do, like, American stuff. Just do, like, an army guy birthday party. Yeah. I would argue a... A World War II birthday party isn't that bad. Honestly, it could be pretty fun. Uh, little, little, little allies versus Axis uh, party games. Uh. Little, um... <laughs> Alright, guys, this next party game is called, um... Uh, somebody somewhere would go to camp. Yeah. Um, that was the term. Um, this next one is called liberating the camp. <laughs> so, one team uh, is like locked up. The other team's got to stop third team from getting them out. Get off the stage! <laughs> <laughs> I'm jungle. <laughs> I'm jungle. Uh, I'll be right back. My, Sorry about that butter. I eat mostly eggs. I'm jungle. I eat, I eat eggs like a snake would eat eggs. I actually hate eggs, by the way. I'm jungle. Like, I, 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 I actually I like every egg besides scrambled. I just don't like scrambled eggs. Like I like sunny side up. I like scrambled chicken. sucks. Objectively, the worst way to eat eggs. I hate scrambled so much. Fuck. But every other kind of like boiled freaking scrape, just, like crank that up, like all that, it's good. The texture and flavor just sucks for it. I just, I've never liked it. Hmm. It's like, oh, cool. Huh? Stinky likes eggs over easy, but she always forgets what they're called. Eggs Benedict. So she always calls them, um, easy over eggs. <laughs> Which is like fucking hilarious to me because it's just like backwards. Yeah, fine, it works. Alright, cool. I'll be right back though. I just oh, wanted to give her See you tomorrow. Wait, um, um, hey Welcome back to my live stream. <laughs> Welcome to my life. <laughs> my life. Mind flare. Mind prison. My mind prison. <laughs> what is your <laughs> That's a weakness of yours. My mind prison. <laughs> <laughs> Elvis bowling ball is my only weakness. <laughs> I wish, um, I I wish I could be a funny guy. You can. Um, I made I made I made all my lore for my silly little characters. My my little elemental golems. You're fu shut up, golem. <laughs> my my predators. <laughs> 
Everybody fucking hates Gollum. <laughs> what's, with, what's with these Gollum haters today? Fuck me, am I right? Am I, am I right, Bob? I think it is, uh, end of the stream time. Okay. Um, I wanted to get all this... Ah, I, keep, uh, I don't know. I wanted to get all this done. But we could probably get it all done tomorrow. And then some. Um. But... Gollum, Gollum. Good night, every, every, every pony. Um... Rubble, rubble. Good night. Laka laka.